First and foremost, we're gonna give all praises, honor, and infinite glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakakwadash, for giving us the spirit to do this lesson. Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, by Hashem, meaning in the name of Yahweh Shai, being the name of Yahweh's only begotten Son and our Lord and Savior, also who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, by Hashem, Rakakwadash, meaning in the name of the Holy Spirit. Shalom to the hopeful elect, which are you so called blacks. Hispanics and Native American Indians, all right? Those of you who see yourself on this sign right here, all right? You know, if you see yourself on this sign, if your father goes back to one of these nationalities, all right, you are a Hebrew Israelite, all right? One of the Lord's chosen people, all right? And it goes back to your father because your father, you know, carries a seat. You are whatever your father is. You know, contrary to popular belief, you know, uh, of, you know, you are whatever both your parents are, all right? You know, that's not true. Your nationality depends on your father solely. There's no such thing as being mixed, you know, so on and so forth. If your father is a so-called black man, so-called Hispanic man or Native American, then you are an Israelite, all right? You know, like we always say at the beginning of these videos, you know, you can look at agriculture and whatnot. You know, if you plant an apple seed in the ground, what kind of tree is gonna sprout? The apple tree. You know, same way with the orange, uh, orange uh, seed. You plant an orange seed in the ground, an orange tree is gonna sprout, all right? So the same applies to people. Whatever your father was or father is, that's what you are. If your father is a so-called uh, white man, or your, and your mother is a so-called uh, black woman, all right, then you are Edomite, all right? You know, if your father is so-called uh, Chinese man, and your, your, uh, your uh, uh, mother is a so-called uh, Hispanic woman, you are a, a, a Moabite, all right? Chinese, you are whatever your father is, all right? You know, and we're not gonna go too much in depth into that. We are, we do it pretty much every week, you know? So I just want to point that out in case you, uh, some, uh, some of you brothers and you sisters didn't know, all right? And Shalom to you speckled birds and you just like foreigners and scatter out in other nations that look like other nations, but are in fact Israelites, all right? So we are in the highways and the byways once again, the props are the downfall of this wicked kingdom known as Babylon the Great, AKA America, also known as spiritual Nineveh, spiritual Rome, Greece, Sodom and uh, Gomorrah, all right, Egypt, if I haven't already mentioned that, God. all right, so on and so forth. All right, we also are here to, you know, uh, uh, props are the downfall of this, uh, of uh, no, so like you also are here to preach the gospel, all right, mean the gospel, mean the, uh, the good news. And the good news is that this kingdom, the so-called kingdom, I like to call it a queendom, because yep, nothing. It's been it, turned into yeah, a queendom. <laughs> it, it actually yeah, already is. You it, know, you, technically. Yeah, because you know then. Damn near a majority of yeah, this. Especially if Kamala, if Kamala getting office. That's you know, rich. Oh uh, yeah, this is gonna be a queendom for sure. Hell yeah. You know, so we are here to <laughs> preach. Uh, you know, the the, the downfall. Of this um, Salaki, we are to preach the good news, and the good news is that this so-called kingdom, queendom, is getting ready to default. All right. Yeah. You know, you Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians about to get put back in your rightful order, your rightful rulership. All right. Yeah. Being above all these nations, all these heathens, kind, you know, all these heathens, they're going to be destroyed, man. You know, well, and at first they got to go into captivity. Mean, yep. They got to go kind. into slavery, be yep. put to death. Man. Kind. They got to go into captivity, you know, serve a thousand years. All right. You know, but as for Esau, the so-called white man, right, he's going to serve a thousand years. But according to the book of Obadiah, you know, he's going to be exterminated off the face of the earth after those a thousand years. Yes, Esau is the only nation that you read about in the Bible that does not get any type of mercy. All right. After those thousand years, the other nations, you know, they're going to go back to their respective lands and all that. You know, they're still going to be in subjection to the Israelites. All right. But, you know, they're not going to be under that hardcore bondage that they had to be in for that thousand years. But as for Esau, he's going to have to serve a thousand years. And then he's gonna be exterminated according to the book of Obadiah. As a matter of fact, just for edification purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and bring that out. Huh. And I just wanted to address that Salakia uh, uh, last camp. I accidentally broke it down. The uh, I had made a mistake because I was going too fast. I was two thirds are going to be destroyed, and and they're, and they're not going to make it on this go round. But the elect, the Most High is going to deliver his elect. He's going to save his elect, man, and his elect is going to make the kingdom of heaven, man. And, and you know, Salakia, because I asked, I went too fast and I said, 
you know, I said that, you know, the two thirds gonna be destroyed. Then I accidentally said that, uh, cause I was talking so fast. I said that, 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 we're, that, the, the one third, they're going to be, I accidentally said it was going to, they're going to make the kingdom, but I said de destroy too. But the, obviously the one third is not going to be destroyed. And I don't want it to confuse anybody. And you know, Salakia for that, I was talking too fast. And you know, this time I'm gonna go, you know, you know, a little bit more slower, you know, take my time, you know, because, you know, through the spirit, man, you know, we want to try and, you know, get the word out there so you people can understand it, you people get edified, you know. Kind of, and this is scripture to go along with what you just said, because, there, you know, it happens sometimes, like, you know, you uh, be out teaching or you might be making a video, you slip and say something that you didn't really mean to say. Huh. That, that happens. And this uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 19 and verse 16, mm -hmm. it says, there is one that slippeth in his speech but not from his heart. And who is he that hath not offended with his son? So there's gonna be times, you know, we slip up and make make mistakes about, and we, we didn't really mean to say that. We meant something else, but we slipped up and said something else. You know, that happens. So, you know, you know that's, that it happens to the best of us. So yeah, you know, uh, I'm pretty sure, you know, they understand, you know, it happens to all of us sometimes, including uh, myself. And at the end of the day, the next time we gonna come even better than right. what we was before. All yeah. right, I got that scripture for no, you. Kind of slack, oh, yeah, that's why you want to overdie. Yeah. It's a lot, you. It's a lot. It's all good. Kind of, because, you know, you still have uh, people out there. They still believe that, you know, all nations are going to be one in the kingdom. You know, they're gonna, everybody going to be on the same level. The Lord going to be loving everybody. And, yep. And you know them wacky, tacky Christians, too. They believe everybody going to be saved. Kind of. That's not the case. Nope. You know, it's already written what's going to be happening. You can read the book of uh, Isaiah. You know, in many scriptures in the book of Isaiah, it tells you, it tells you that the uh, heathens, they're going to be in subjection to the Israelites. The book of uh, Isaiah chapter 14, I believe, you know, verses uh, 1 through 3 on down, you know, talk about how the, uh, the, the, uh, the other nations, they're going to be in subjection to the Israelites, so on and so forth. Matter of fact, I might as well get that. Yeah, go ahead, yeah, go ahead and get that then. <laughs> I might that, as well, because yeah. I was going, you know, with the immigrants, but we talking about this kind time of. right now. This is Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land and the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob and the people shall take them and bring them to their place and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids and they shall take them captives whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. Oh. And it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from the hard bondage wherein thou wast made to, to, uh, to serve, that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, How hath the oppressor seized the golden city seat? Kind of, and this is a future prophecy that has not came to pass yet. All right. It says the Lord uh, will have mercy on Jacob and yet choose Israel. All right. And say all nations. No, it did not. All right. Jacob being the progenitor of who you see right here on these on the sun. All right. All right. Twelve tribes of Israel, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. All right. That's who the Lord is going to choose. And what else did it say? It said that, you know, uh, what did it say? It says, and the people shall take them and bring them to their, their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. All right, what is that? Slaves. All right, because we was once slaves, all right, we still is. We're pretty much captives right now. All right, we're serving our enemies. So, guess what? The, the script is gonna flip, and our enemies are going to be serving us. All right, it goes on to say, and they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. All right, you know. So, you know, it's like an eye for an eye, two for a two type of thing, right? That's why when you read the book of uh, Revelation, yep, that's you know, it's talking about how uh, pay her back double, all right? So, yeah, go ahead and get that if you can find it. Uh, I was going to bring a uh, kind of a precept to go in, you know, the yeah. uh, slaves. Yeah, yeah, kind of. Let me get that. We use Revelation. He that leadeth in the captivity. Oh, yeah, yeah. And a lot of people they're trying to find loopholes for that scripture. Exactly. You know, all it doesn't to... mean that it means exactly what it say. Exactly. You know, it means exactly what it say. There's no hidden interpretation. The, the what it really is is a lot of Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. You have Stockholm syndrome. 
all right? You just want to cleave so hard unto your oppressors, all right? You know, but it don't matter how hard you try to cleave unto these people, they are not going to have a spot in the kingdom, all right, as far as, or as, far as rulership goes, all right? They're going to have a spot, but their spot is going to be as a captive, as a slave, all right? You know, because it's only right. So you're telling me, you know, we went through these years and years of captivity, and the Lord is going to let that slide, all right? He's just going to let these damn devils do what they uh, do what they did to his chosen people, all right? And he's not going to get get it back, all right? He's not going to uh, get his uh, revenge, all right? Come on now. You know, the scripture says it's a righteous thing for the Lord to recompense those that trouble you, all right? It's a righteous thing. But here it is, you know, you have a lot of these Israelites thinking, oh, that's evil. You know, the Lord, he's, he's not like that. He wouldn't do that. The scripture said he would. And it says he's a, it's a righteous thing for him to do so, all right? Salaki, was that verse uh, 3? Which scripture are you looking for? He that leadeth in the captivity. I think it's uh, 13 and verse 10. Okay, yes, yeah, Salaki. I'm sure. All right. This is Revelation 13 and uh, 10. No, verse 9. If any man have an ear, if any man have an ear, let him hear. And notice that the most I said, if any man have an ear, let him hear. Because man, majority of these people, they don't want to listen. Right, they can't they, receive they, it. they can't understand it, especially yeah. these wacky tacky Christians, man. Yeah. And that's why that's why, like the brother said, they want to try and you know run around in circles and say, oh, that's not what it's talking about. But the most high makes it clear. And that's why he said, he that hath an ear, let him hear, man. Yeah. Verse 11, verse uh, 10, uh, 10 Slaki. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints, man. This is what we've been looking for, man. All right? What Esau did to us, man, we want double back to him, man. This is the faith and the patience of the saints, man. This is what... The most high is elect, man. This is what we're looking for, man. The Esau to be put into slavery, man. To be put to death, man. Like when he killed us, man. To, to be put into slavery like when he put us into slavery, man. Yep. We want the same thing to happen to him, man. Uh, and there's a law that, you know, pretty much telling you that, you know, uh, this is what's going to happen to the land of America, Bab Babylon the Great. Because here in this land... You know, we, our, our blood has been shed here in this land, all right? Come. You know, and within our law, you know, it, it says that uh, the only way that a land can be cleansed is by the blood of uh, the person that shed that blood, all right? So this is Numbers chapter 35, verse 3. It says, so you shall not pollute the land wherein you are, for blood it defileth the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. So what does that, what does that tell you? You know, the person that shed our blood, his blood got to be shed, all right? Esau even the so-called white man, according to the Bible, all right? And that's exactly what's going to happen. Come on. Oh, you got to say yeah, I got that for you. This is Revelation 18 and 6. Come on. Uh, now, matter of fact, I'll start at verse 5. And this is speaking on America or Babylon the Great. Yeah. This Revelation 18 and 5. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Most High have remembered her iniquities, man. All right? So, hey, man. <laughs> All this wickedness and all this sin, man, here in Babylon that's being promoted is reached on to heaven, man. Mm -hmm. And Most High is going to remember what America has done, man, and what America was promoting to our people, man. All the lies, the deceits, all the witchcrafts that America has promoted, man, to us, man. Especially mainly from uh, Esau Edom, man, and them, uh, and Amalek, man. This, uh, verse 6. And, uh, Reward her as she rewarded you, and double unto her, double according to her works in the cup which uh, she had filled, filled to her double. All right, man. So, hey, man, that's what the Most High said. Reward her double, man. All right. That includes Esau Edom, you so called white people, man. But for what you've done to us, man, reward you double, man, for what you did to us, man. And that's exactly why he's going to have to serve a thousand years of servitude and captivity you know because you know we we serve you know uh over 500 years in this captivity Come. under the so-called white man you saw you know you know so if you want to include the northern kingdom you know it's about 500 600 years i believe if i'm not mistaken if, I'm, if my calculations are correct it's about 500 600 years dealing with both kingdoms the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom put together you know so this devil he's gonna have to serve double Come. all right 
and double about 500 years, that's, th that's a thousand years. Because it all started yeah. with um, King Herod. He was an Edomite. He wanted to kill Yahweh Shah, man. Because uh -huh. they're showing that hatred towards Yahweh Shah, man. Okay. So the Heavenly Father is going to, the Heavenly Father, man, Yahweh Shah and the angels, they're going to reward Esau Edom double, man, for the hatred. The bloodshed that you that you've done to our people, man. Yep. <laughs> because he didn't receive the blessing, man. Because he was a because the most side just didn't he didn't it was all set up like that, man, for the Israelites to be chosen, man. And Esau Edom, like, he's butthurt, man. Um, he's but and that's why he's showing that hatred. See, that's why that's why he's killing us, man. Yep. That's why he's turning our women against us. That's why he's turning our men in the alphabet and the alphabets, man. Because Esau Edom, he's showing that hatred towards us. Now he's turning our people from, you know, protecting each other. Now we're selling drugs to each other. Now we're killing each other. Now he's promoting these these um, these rappers like, uh, you know, NBA Youngboy and them and put that image out um, a, 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 as the black. And Jake will think that's the okay. And now here it is. Jake is going um treating each other you know like shit you know instead of you know being you know being brothers you know you know protecting each other you know looking out for each other you know being a family but esau completely destroyed that family structure man all right all right <laughs> and this is a matter of fact i'm gonna i might not get all of the book of Ob obadiah but i'm gonna get most of it because this is gonna show you pretty much what you know he, what the brother just said you know uh you know, this devil, you saw, you know, you know, he pretty much, you know, he has always hated you. And this is why he does the things that he do. Yep. You know, that's this, why he, he be having that red face. He be so mad. Like, 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 like he's showing that hatred towards y'all, man. Yep. And here it is. You, Coon Jakes, love, you, you love the, him more. But here it is. He wants to kill you. Here it is. You're the chosen, you're the chosen of the most high chose you, man. But you rather join Esau Edom, man. God. That's a damn shame, man. Yep. So this is the book of Obadiah. I'm going to start at verse 1. And uh, I'm going to kind of skip about just to get to the main points. But uh, this is the book of Obadiah, chapter 1 and verse 1. All right, and it says, The vision of Obadiah, thus saith the Lord Yahweh concerning Edom. All right, and the book of Obadiah is a book that only has one chapter. And this, this book is dedicated to Esau Edom, the so-called white man. All right, this is the future for Esau Edom. All right. This is a prophecy that has not happened yet because we have a lot of these dumbass Christians. Yep. They like to say, oh, well, the nation of Esau and Edom, they're, 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 they don't exist anymore. No, they're still here because the scriptures say in the last days Esau will be ruling. Exactly. All right. When you read 2nd Ezra chapter 6, and you see he's clearly ruling. He's ruling right now. Say Esau is the end of the world. And you get into that following. So that lets you know that Esau is still here. He's ruling. All right. God, and here it is. Uh, they call those people over in the land of 1948ers. These so-called Christians are calling them the, the, the chosen people, man. God, they damn Edomites. Right? They don't want they the devil, they the damn Edomites ruling everything here God. in Babylon, you see, man. Yep. God. So this is uh the book of Obadiah, chapter one, and verse one. It says, The vision of Obadiah, thus saith the Lord Yahweh concerning Edom. We have heard a rumor from the Lord, and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye and let us rise up against her in battle. Verse 2, Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen, thou art greatly despised. Deprive thy heart to see thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rocks, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground. All right, this is this is explaining the characteristics that is a uh, of the so-called white man, all right? Because he, he's very prideful. He, he thinks that his kingdom will never fall, all right? And also it goes on to say, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, this is where them devils come from, all right? They're, they're the real cavemen, all right? They was the ones that's dwelling in the damn Caucasus Mountains and all that. Mounts here, all right? You know, the damn cave beasts, you know? They was dwelling in the cliffs, like the scriptures say, all right? And they think they better than the Most High. They, they, they think they're going to they they take, oh, they, they're so damn proud, they think they're going to overtake us. Come. And the Most High, Yahweh Shah and, your, and Yahweh and the angels, man, nope. and his elect. But y'all ain't gonna get the elect. Right. Cause see, cause you know, he knows his time is short. So that's why he's rolling out. That's why he's getting ready to uh that's why he's getting that's why Esau's getting ready to um uh, uh, close down these banks. And he's getting ready to um uh, get rid of the dollar, man. Cause he knows if 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 he wants to usher in 
the agenda 2030. He has to do it now. He knows that, man. Because his time is short, man. That's why he's getting ready to usher in martial law. That's why he's ushering in, you know, um, making these um, these businesses go cashless. And, you know, we're going to get into that a little later. And martial law, too, man. Because that's been, that's been a big talk, too, man. And that, that's getting ready to come, man. But see... But, but, but see, man, Esau is going, getting ready to get destroyed, man. And his kingdom is going down, man. All the wickedness he done promoted here in America, all the, the evil, all the, you know, the, the bloodshed, the killing, man. Hey, man, Esau, man, you're going to pay for that, man. You know, and this is going to be the greatest fall that the world has ever seen in history. You know, like I always say, it's going to be greater than, than the Roman the, Empire. Than the Roman, and this is pretty much, you know, uh, Rome, Rome, uh, re, re, uh, you know, reinvent it, you know, pretty much we uh re uh what's the word I'm looking for? Reinvent it. Uh, no, no, it's uh remastered. I, I I think I'm looking for another word, but that's the best word I could come to my mind right now. Uh, that's what America is, it's pretty much Rome remastered, Rome two point oh, all right? You know, Rome revived. I think that's what I'm looking for. Uh, you know, cause that, that's what America is. It's a, it's pretty much Rome revived according to prophecy. Alright? So um here it says, The pride of thy heart hath deceived thee, that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down? This devil, he does not think he's going to be uh, taken out of power. All right? Verse 4, it says, Thou that exalt thyself as the eagle, and thou that set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. All right? And one thing that you got to understand, because a lot of people, they'll try to argue and say that this, that the Esau is not the so-called white man, right? You know, but if you look at history, every kingdom that was ruled by Esau, what was their symbol? All right, their symbol has always been the eagle. All right, Greece, Rome, all the way to now. Yep. All right, you know, Mount Seir. When you look at the ancient uh, ruins of Mount Seir, you can see eagles on their uh, on their uh, or architect and their buildings and all that. You know, and who was dwelling in Mount Seir? That was Esau Edom, the so-called white man. All right. You know, and like I said, fast forward to right now, his symbol is the eagle. All right. You know, when you look on a uh, on a dollar bill, what do you see? An eagle on it. Oh. All right. You know, so the symbol of Esau Edom has always been. Or when you go to like a say like a bank or like a what they call it, you know a bank or like a uh, uh, the courts, you'll see the eagle. Yep. You see the eagle on the top. Yep. Representing Rome, Rome and Greece all over. Yep. Yep. Esau Edom. Verse uh, 5, it says, If thieves came to thee, if robbers by night, heart art thou cut off, would they not have stolen till they have had enough? If the grape gatherers came to thee, would they not leave some grapes? All right, because Esau Edom, you know, this is pretty much going into how uh, Esau, you know, he's never satisfied, all right? He likes to steal and steal yep. and steal. And that's what he did. He's stealing our culture, our heritage. Right. He's still in, um, because everything that Jacob done, Esau, Edom tried to take and say that they did it. Because when you look at the history, all the stuff that, you know, that, that, that people say that, oh, well, Christopher Columbus or George Washington, they founded America when that's a lie. Yeah. It was a, 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 one of the Israelites. It was a northern kingdom. A northern kingdom, Jacob. He founded America, man. Not yeah. no damn Christopher Columbus, uh, uh, and George Washington, but see how they got to throw lies in there? Uh -huh. Then they'll tell you, well, Benjamin Franklin and the, uh, uh, what's his name? Thomas Edison created the light. Nah, man, and Jay created the light before before they they were even thought of. Uh -huh. You know, and then the whole uh, Christopher Columbus situation, that's a good example because that's exactly what happened. You know, this damn devil came over here, colonizers, they came over here, you know, and stole his land. From the Native Americans, which is indeed our brothers and sisters, all right? You know, the Northern Kingdom, you know, Gag, Reuben and them, all right? You know, that's exactly what they did. They came over here, you know, uh, stole this uh, land from them and all that, you know. And matter of fact, it's a scripture to go along with that because they came over here making it seem like they was trying to become friends with the Northern Kingdom and all that, you know, but in their heart, they had other plans, all right, to steal and take this land, all right? Let me see if I can get it right quick. Because you know the scripture that talked about his uh his uh his words were smoother than butter or something like that? I want to say Psalms. I Psalm think it 58? is. Uh, let me see. I know it's in Psalms for sure. 
Sounds 55, yes. Yep. Okay, yep, I was, I was close. I yep, see kind. Okay. I knew it was songs, but I see yep. it. Okay. Let me see what... Uh, Matter of fact, you want songs 55? Yeah, I'm trying to see where should I start it. Who should you start? Okay. Uh, I get that for you. You want to start at... Uh, Songs 55. All right, yeah. All right, you can just get, get, get straight to the point, verse 21. Okay. This is Psalms chapter 55, verse 21. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they draw, drawn swords. God. And that's exactly what happened. You know, uh, these damn colonizers, Christopher Columbus, they came over here to make it seem like they were trying to be friends with, you know, the Northern Kingdom, all right? So-called Native Americans and all that. You know, but in their heart, they war was in their heart the whole time, all right? They and they and they mind they was trying to plot, they was plotting to take this land, all right? You know, take the women, do what they want to do with the women, so on and so forth, all right? That's exactly what happened, all right? You know, so it goes back to what Obadiah was talking about, this devil known as a so-called white man, Esau Edom, you know, he steals and steals and steals, you know, and he never gets satisfied, right? Let's read that scripture again. It says, if thieves came to, could came to thee, if robbers by night, how art thou cut off? Would they not have stolen till they have had enough? Because a robber, they, they might come and steal, but they gonna steal until they got enough and they gonna leave, all right? It says, if the grape gatherers came to thee, would they not leave some grapes, all right? But see, Esau Edom on the other hand, he doesn't get satisfied. He's going to continue to take and take and take and take and take. He doesn't get satisfied, right? You know? Verse 6, it says, How are the things that Esau searched out? Or are his hidden things sought up? And in these last days, the hidden things that Esau is being brought to light. All right? His, 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 how corrupt he is. The devil that he is. All right? You know, the lies that he's told throughout history. It's all being sought out in these last days. All right? Verse 7, it says, All the men of that confederacy have brought thee even to the border the men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat bread, eat thy bread, have laid a wound under thee. There is none understanding them. All right, you know, because it's gonna come a point in time that everybody that was, uh, you know, pretty much allies with this devil, they're gonna turn against them. All right. It says, uh, matter of fact, matter of fact, let's uh, jump down to verse ten. All right, we're going to get straight to the point. Like I said, I'm just going to skip around and get to the, the, the point, all right? It says, For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever, all right? This is exactly what this devil does. He has committed all types of violence against uh, uh, his brother Jacob. And we were Jacob, all right? You know, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, all right? This is Jacob, all right? The descendants of Jacob. And this is what this devil has done. He's committed all types of violence against you, all right? So like the scripture just said, for thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. This devil, he's going to be cut off forever, all right? You know, after he serves a thousand years, you know, in captivity, he's going to be cut off forever. And he, there, there's no remedy. He's, there's no coming back, all right? Well, let's continue. It says, in the day that thou stoodest on the other side, and the day... That the strangers carried away the cap carried away captives captive his forces, and foreigners entered at his gates and cast lots upon Jerusalem. Even thou was as one of them. So lucky, but thou shouldest not have looked on the day of thy brother and the day that he became a stranger. Neither shouldest thou rejoice over the children of Judah and the day of their destruction. Neither shouldest thou have spoken proudly, and thou. In the day of the of Salaki, in the day of distress. All right, Salaki. So uh, I'm gonna just jump down to verse 15 and read on down, so we can uh, get to the point. All right, verse 15. It says, "For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen, and as thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return return upon thy own head." All right, going back to what he already read in Revelation chapter 13 and verse 10. All right, the Bible is pretty much a harmonious book. All right, nothing contradicts each other. Uh, what nothing contradicts in the Bible. God. All right, what was written in the Old Testament, you're going to see the same thing in the New Testament. All right, line upon line, precept upon 
precept upon precept. Done. Yo. Verse uh Salaki, yeah, verse uh, 15, let's read that again. It says, For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. All right? Because all these na other nations, they've had a, a hand in our captivity, some way, shape, or form. All right? So whatever they did to us, it's going to be done to them. All right? And what did they do to us? They had us in captivity. So guess what? They're going to be in captivity. All right? Like Revelation chapter 13 and verse 10 says, He that leadeth to captivity must go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. This is the patience of the saints, all right? Verse uh, 16. It says, For as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall the heathen drink continually. Yeah, they shall drink, and they shall swallow down, and they shall be as though they had not been. All right? Now, verse 17, pay very close attention to you Israelites that got Stockholm Syndrome. They want to try so hard to save the damn heathens. All right, chiefly the so-called white man, all right, Esau Edom. Because you try to save this damn devil before you try to, you know, save yourself. Your, your main focus is trying to save this devil, all right? You know, whenever you tell the damn, tell uh, Jake, you know, uh, only Israel can make it, you know, they'll, they'll always say, well, what about the white man? Why not, why is it never about the Chinese man? Why you don't never ask about the Chinese man, all right? Why you never ask about the Arab? You always asking about the damn so-called white man. All right, because you got Stockholm Syndrome. We love your oppressor, all right? Verse 17, pay attention. It says, but upon Zion shall be deliverance. Zion is another name for Israel, all right? It says, upon Zion shall be deliverance. Deliverance means salvation. So what does that tell you? Salvation is for the nation of Israel, all right? That's not including everybody else, all right? You know, this deliverance is upon Zion, Zion only. It says, and there shall be holiness and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. All right. Verse 18. It says, And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for a stubble, and they shall kindle in them, and devour them, and there shall be not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord had spoken it. All right. See that the Lord has spoken it. Come no on. remain of Esau. So for you wacky tacky Christians out there, that's the Bible. Yep. That's the book of Obadiah, man. Uh -huh. So you can try and justify, oh, well, you 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 can't. Um, the Bible makes it plain and straight to the point, man. Yep. Most high makes himself clear, man. Right. Clear yeah. cut, straight to the point. Man. Right. No hidden interpretations, like you Christians like to say. Oh, that's your interpretation. No, this is that's what, what the Most High yeah, said. The Bible said it word for word. There's no other way you can take it. All right. If there's another way you can take it, then explain what that scripture means. Exactly. They say, "Oh, well, y'all use your own interpretation or, or taking it out of context." That's what they'll tell you. Kind. But no, that's what the Most High said. Yeah, it's word for word. There's no hidden interpretation. All right. All it all it really is is that you don't you 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 soft as hell yep. and you want to save everybody. All right. Well, why 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 can't we all just get along, and come together? It ain't no. Nah. The hell with these heathens, man. Yeah, fuck them. The hell with these heathens. And if you're trying to save these heathens, man, you're going to find yourself getting destroyed right along exactly. with them. I was just You know, because it's, it's very disrespectful to the Lord. Think about it. The Lord, here it is, the Lord saying, hey, I have chosen you above everybody. I don't love nobody else. I love you. But here it is, your you black want, ass. Your, it, your coon ass. Yeah, man, your black ass talking about something. Uh, what, about, what about the heathen? What about them? Why can't they be saved? That's disrespectful. That's like spitting in the Lord's face. Exactly. He's gave. He, he's given salvation exclusively to you. But here it is, your black man. Opposite. Right. Come you on. Wanna, you want to be? You want to uh, do niggas for Trump? Huh. Matter of fact, I think I because I had got that. I, it was this coon ass Jake, and, and it's no. So this nigga had on dreads too. It, yeah, it always be the dread. The dread is. Damn mop heads. <laughs> <laughs> I can't make it up, man. I got to show. It was a, a coon ass Jake and his uh his coon E. They were uh wanting to make America great yeah, again shirts. Niggas for Trump oh, yeah, 2024. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This this is the spirit these two third this is the spirit they in. Niggas for Trump. Yep. That's that's the kumbaya uh, uh spirit these niggas and then notice they call themselves niggas. They got on the shirt call themselves niggas. A good old slick. It's a good old slave. It's a good slave. Good boy. <laughs> Man. All right, now, first up. Just uh, like Charleston White. Yeah, Charleston White. That, that nigga, it's cool, man. That, that nigga day coming, That nigga too, be tap, tap dancing. Your day gonna come, too, Charleston White. 
You can play both sides all you want, but the Lord gonna get your ass too, nigga. I don't, I don't care about talking all that shit. Yeah, man, man. Well, what he, the people, are, he be speaking truth. I don't give a damn about what he be saying, man. Cause first He's of all, cool ass, he was talking shit about the Israelites. Yeah, so, right. I, could, if, <laughs> I don't care what else he. I don't. I don't care what he got to say, man. He already disrespected the truth. He disrespected the Lord first and foremost. Yep. You know, talking about something. I don't, I don't serve that God. The God y'all serve. You, you know. He's just being a damn coon, man. Nah, I got a script. I got a scripture going into that that coon spirit. Huh. Matter of fact, yeah, you, I'm gonna uh, finish off with Obadiah right quick. Then okay, cop. Yeah. And then after the the coon, then we could address, you know, the 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 the, uh, the legal the my yeah, sleeper cell situation. Yeah, cause that's the spirit. I cause another per family got killed by migrants in New York City. A brother yeah. just yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, right. It was an hour. I think it was twenty minutes ago. Right. This is uh, the book of Obadiah, verse uh, 19. And it says, and they, and they of the south shall possess the mount of Esau, and, the, and they of the plain of the Philistines, and they shall possess the fields of Ephraim, and the fields of Samaria, and Benjamin shall possess Gilead. Verse 20. And the captivity of this host of the children of Israel shall possess that of the Canaanites, even to into the Zarephath, it's like even unto Zarephath, and the captivity of Jerusalem, which is in Zarephath, shall possess the cities of the south. Verse twenty one, and saviors shall come upon Mount Zion to judge the mount of Esau, and the kingdom shall be the Lord's. And those saviors is talking about the hundred and thirty forty four thousand. You know, because that, that's a that, that, that's a cut to you down. Uh, Old Testament only niggas, all right. And I like to, I got this is exactly what y'all are. Y'all niggas, all right, because y'all denying the Lord and saying yep. Yahweh Shai. Yep, exactly. They don't believe in Yahweh Shai. They don't. You know, this this is a cut because they always like the scripture say they always try to pull the scripture that say there is no savior. Uh, there is no uh, besides me. There is no savior. All right. They think that scripture is saying Yahweh Shai doesn't exist. But when you read this scripture right here in the Book of Obadiah, it says say yours with an S on the end. Yep. Meaning multiple saviors shall stand upon Mount Zion, judging the Mount of Esau. All right. So that shows you there's multiple saviors. All right. So that your understanding on that scripture that talks about uh, there's no savior besides me, your understanding is mis, you know, is is, uh, is jacked up. All right. You don't have to understand that scripture. All right. Moses, he's taken he was a savior. All right. You what? But the Lord, what the Lord does, he pretty much gets credit for everything. Because he's the one that orchestrates it. He used Moses to go deliver the children of Israel out of Egypt. All right? You know, but Moses, he's technically a savior. This, this time around, the Lord, Yahweh, he's going to use Yahweh Shai to come deliver the children of Israel out of this Egypt, Babylon the Great. You know? So, yes, you know, the Most High Yahweh, he's the ultimate savior, but he uses other people to play out his plan. All right? You know? So, there's multiple saviors. I just wanted to point that out because you know you have these Old Testament onlys listening, all right. So uh, y'all believe that's pretty much that. Oh, that's it. Yeah, I pretty yeah. I think you go ahead, bring out what you want to bring out. All right. I was gonna go into that how they were, you know, how they were selling out, you know, to yeah. the, uh, you know during the time of Maccabees, how they were selling out to Antiochus. You know, they sold they they sold out uh, Yahweh Shai. They sold out Yahweh Shai and his and his people, and they sold out to. Antiochus and them and them and them Greek Greek devils. Oh. This is the book of First Maccabees, chapter one, and I'll start at uh, I think I'll start at nine. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll start at verse nine. And after his death, uh, they they all put crowns upon themselves. So did their sons. After them, many years and evils were multiplied in the earth. And then came out of them a wicked root, Antiochus, surnamed Epiphanes, son of Antiochus, the king who had been in hostage at Rome. And he reigned in a hundred and thirty and seven, seventh year of the kingdom of the Greeks. And those days went thou, there out of Israel, wicked men who persuaded many, saying, Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about us for since we departed from them we have had much sorrow 
So this device pleased them well. Um, then certain people, yeah, were so forward hearing that they they went to the king who gave them license to do after the ordinance of the heathen. All right. So you so you're gonna have a lot of coon tap dancing jakes. Like for example, you got uh, these modern day like uh, Roland Martin, Roland Roland Martin, Joy Reid, uh, uh, Steve Harvey. Um, um, uh, uh, what's what's his name? Uh, Reverend Je uh, Jesse Jackson, Al Sharpton. See, these are the these are the coon uh, boule celebrities that they gave, that they give us. But in reality, they sold out to the white man to sell our people out unto the Greeks, man. All right, unto these these heathen devils, man. All right, and instead instead of making a covenant with Yahweh Shai, man, they made a covenant with the heathen. All right, with Esau Edom, man. All right, in, the, in these wicked, in these wicked devils, man. All right, that, that's why you see these dudes uh, coon and tap dancing, man. Even LeBron James, man, he's a coon sellout, man. Yep. You know, that's why he got that boule tattooed on him, man. Majority of the, these your so-called top black leaders, they all sold out to the boule, man, and they all sold out to Esau Edom. Why you think they're a part of these Greek fraternities, man? Like Shaq, you know. You know, look at Michael Jordan, Shaq, because I, because you, you would think all these great black players, they said they've done so many great things for us, right? And you know they're part of Black history, right? I, but when you look into the history, majority of these athletes are a part of Greek fraternities, and I didn't even know that. A lot of the so-called greatest of all times, they're part of these Greek fraternities, man. All right, and we understand that. The Greek fraternity is on the low level. It's Freemasonry, but it's on the low level, man. Because we all know Shaq is a 33rd degree Mason. And, you know, we don't have to go, you know, too deep into that. But at the end of the day, man, they all of them, they made the covenant with the heathen, man. They don't give a damn about you. All they care about is that check and that money that the Amalek is giving them, man. All right? Because that's what they did, man. They sold us out, man. All right? That's why going back in the, the days of old, that's why um, Al Sharpton got uh, James Brown killed, man. Mm -hmm. So he sold out, man. Yep. All right? And James Brown was doing the song, I'm Black and I'm Proud, and then Al Sharpton was trying to pretend. Then the next thing you know, he's dead. And, and, and here it is. Now, now Al Sharpton want to make a name for himself se se selling um, the people out. Same thing with uh, Jesse Jackson, man. When... Um, when, um, when even even though Malcolm X was a even though he was a Muslim, at least you know he he was trying to stand you know right at, at least you know right for the people. At least he wasn't a, a sellout like Farrakhan and uh, uh, like Farrakhan and uh, uh, yeah and Jesse Jackson and now Sharpton. But notice that uh, after after Malcolm X's death, because they killed him because he was telling the truth. Because I remember uh, one thing, he, one word that he said, he said the most dangerous, he said the most dangerous um, groups of people is them liberals, you know, them Democrats. Because, you know, truth be told, when you go into the history, we used to, you know, the, you know, the black people, they used to be Republicans and the white people, they used to be Democrats. And they used to be, the KKK used to be Democrat, Democrats. Because, you know, we was a, because we had a, had a structure. But then they flipped it, you know? They flipped it. So, but, but see, people, most people don't know that, man. You know, they don't know their, their true history, man. Because, you know, we were the ones who believed in the Bible, man. All right? We were the ones that had the family structure, not Esau Edom. Esau Edom was all about that liberal, woke bullshit, man. All right? That was Esau's culture, man. All right? But see, after, after, but see, that's what, um, that's what Malcolm X said, man. And you know, Malcolm X was speaking so much truth that they killed him, man. And then here it is, man, that as soon as Malcolm X died, here come Farrakhan. Here come Farrakhan, snake ass. Uh, Reverend Jesse Jackson, now Sharpton, snake ass. Now they want to make it. Now they want to make a name off of uh, off of Malcolm X, but they're not even for the people. You know, like like Malcolm X was, even though, because you know, he didn't know, you know, even though he sold out to to Islam, at least he was trying, you know. Unlike the uh, unlike the sellout coons, like uh, you know, Farrakhan, Jesse Jackson, all of them, they sold out to the uh, they sold out to Amalek, man. 
So pretty much, you want to go to the... Uh, oh yeah, Isaiah uh, 13? Yeah. All right. Yeah, okay. I got that. Cause now we're going to go into the whole situation with these uh, so-called uh, migrants. You know, uh, that's what they like to call them, coming over across the border. You know, but in reality, they're just sleeper cells. That's all it really is. You know, and we've been seeing a lot of situations popping off as of lately, you know, with, uh, you know, these uh, so-called migrants, yep. you know, uh, uh, committing heinous crimes and all yep. that. Matter so, of fact, I got Taking you. over uh, Salaki, taking over, you know, different apartment buildings, complexes, you know, the Venezuelan gangs, you know, then you got the situation recently, you know, which is what we about to go into. Cause this, is, this situation gonna be an eye opener for you, uh, you Eves out there, right? And when we say Eves, we're talking about you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American women, all right? You know, you women of these tribes, all right? You know, specifically you women of these tribes. Women in general, because, you know, women are gonna be uh, the, the, uh, the weaker- The weaker uh, vessel. Yeah, women are the weaker vessel. And you're definitely gonna be the weaker vessel in these times that we're coming into, all right? So take heed. You know, but the message is mainly for you uh, Israelite women, all right? You know, this is gonna be an eye opener for you women that wanna damn have these OnlyFans and all that. You know, you wanna uh, show your body on social media. You know, you wanna claim you don't need a man, all right? You know, this is gonna be an eye opener to you. All right, you go ahead and uh, bring out what you wanna talk about. Also, Lucky, I was gonna get the article, cause that way, cause you know, it go, it go, you know, together. Kind of, matter of fact, I think I might be able to find it on Google. Okay, I got it, I got it. Kinda. So Lucky, yeah. All right, so I'm going to show y'all the article. So, like, it took time. You know, my phone be sometimes be going in and out. But the brother, what we got, Kwesat, posted a, uh, he just posted an article. Check this out. If y'all can see it, I'm going to read it to y'all so y'all can see it. But it say, illegal immigrant from Dominican Republic suspected of horrifically killing New, New York family of four. And as y'all can see uh, right there. Hey man, these sleeper cells are getting, they be getting ready to get active and busy, man. Uh, and they ain't even did everything that they gonna do yet. You know, this, 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 is, even, just they, the, this is just the warm right, This is just the tip of the iceberg right here. <laughs> and I got that article with that Eve, huh? Yeah, so, 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 so if y'all can see, I don't know if y'all can, they showed the, the picture of the Eve. So this guy named, uh, uh, so an Uber driver, so if y'all can see it, the Uber driver allegedly confessed to raping Killing Oh Salaki. Yeah. Um Uber driver allegedly confessed to graping killing uh Chanti Dixon after picking up from work at the strip club. Right. And he and driver Francisco Valdez was twenty nine and um the police said this was disgusting because what happened was he grape he graped her, then he killed her. And then after she was dead, he graped her while she was dead. Kinda. Now, truth be told, that's some Edomite, and it, it, it is sick. Don't get me wrong, it, yeah, it's sick. Kinda. But that's some shit Esau, that's some type shit Esau would do, yo. But hey, now they got these sleeper cells doing it, man. Yo, and we report on these type of things because, you know, these are the type of things you're gonna be seeing on a daily basis, especially when society collapsed. And the crazy thing is, you're seeing it happening already, and society is still up and running. So how much more, you know, when society collapses, you know, all chaos is breaking loose, you know, people are gonna be doing whatever the hell they wanna do. And like I stated a few minutes ago, you know, a lot of you women, you, you don't understand what's getting ready to take place because a lot of you are still delusional. You think that everything is good. You know, you think that you don't need a man because ultimately, you know, uh, uh, your, your daddy, the so-called white man has been taking care of you. You know, all you gotta do, you know, the, the, the white man, he's made it comfortable for you, huh. all right? You know, so you feel like you don't need uh, a man for anything. Yep. You know, I could, I could just make me an OnlyFans and I'm good, you know? Huh. But what's gonna happen when society collapses, the dollar ain't around no more, you know? Lockdowns, yeah, martial food, law. You ain't got no food, all right? No type of protection, all right? What you gonna do then? You still gonna have the mentality that you don't need a man? Yep. You still gonna put, keep, you still gonna put uh, having a man on the back burner? You still gonna do that, or you gonna try to find you a man? And in that day, it's really, it's really gonna be too so you late. You keep listening to Sexy Red and Glow Rilla, huh. Nicki Minaj and Megan Thee Stallion, telling y'all I don't need a man. What's, what's that? Uh, 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 what's uh, not Ice Spice? Well, like you, you can say yeah, Ice she Spice. She wanted them too. She wanted them too. Ice Spice. Uh, 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 the City Girls. Uh, uh, 
Dang, I can't remember. Stallion, Cardi, Cardi B. B. Uh, 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 Lotto. Yep, Lotto. That that that's her. Yep, yep. Lotto. And, and, and going on down the line, y'all, y'all gonna keep listening to them thoughts and harlots. In, in that, what's that demon? That slut demon. Uh, uh, which one? Amber Amber Rose. Right? Oh yeah. Man, that that y'all gonna keep listening to them demons? Are you gonna yeah. listen to the heavenly Father and the prophets, man? Yeah. You know, cause they gonna lead. They gonna lead y'all to to y'all destruction. Yeah. That's what. Them wicked ass celebrities, especially Sexy Red, you know, she fucking through. She, 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 her mind, her brain is fucking gone, man. She don't even got, she don't even got a soul anymore, man. (laughs) You know, she's soulless. She's brainless, man. (laughs) And and she's indoctrinating you, weeds, man. And and ultimately, all these damn women that's like that, these celebrity women, they set up by the Amalek. They set up by Amalek to put that type of, uh, uh, yep. spirit out there. Yep, you know, and they're put putting the women to yeah. these young ease to be hypersexual. Yep, and you know, you shameless. Know, you know, shameless. No respect. You know, hating the so-called black man. Yep, you know the Israelite man. You know, this is this. They hate their own. You know, their own hair and their own body. Yep. That's why they be wearing pink, blue, pink, blue, yellow hair. Yep. It so mean look, that yep. the oppressor. Yep. To look at uh, to tattoos look, yep. all over their body and. And, and uh, piercings yep. on their nose, not the nose rings, but like the the piercings they yeah. have. To look at a uh, motherhood as a bad thing or something like that, right? You know, because this this what these most of these women, these uh, uh modern day women here in Babylon, they look at motherhood as a bad thing or whatnot. Huh. You know, and they don't even care about the kids. All they, they care don't. about is making the money and just selling themselves for sex. Yep. And the most I didn't create you to be a harlot. That's huh. what Amalek did. Yep. And this is why we bring this stuff out because, you know, we ain't bringing this out to, you know, uh, uh, as, a, as as hate like right, a lot of people say. Right, attack. That's what you know, it's, it's not about that. We bring it's this giving out. Giving you that warning. Yeah, that that's warning because doing. this is what the Lord really doing these last days. All right, you know, He's showing you the warning of what's happening to other women before it starts happening on a large scale. Because best believe it's gonna happen on a large scale. Huh. You know, these movies that they make about. Uh, a collapsed society and men doing whatever the hell they want to women. It's it, not made up. It's man. not made up because these elites they know what's gonna be happening. God. And they, and truth be told, they getting everything from the Bible. Man. Exactly. Because the scriptures say this is what's gonna happen. I was in Isaiah chapter thirteen where it talk about how the children gonna be dashed to pieces and yep. their wives ravished. I got that. And yeah. I'll start at verse eleven. God, yeah. This is Isaiah thirteen and verse uh, eleven, the fall of Babylon's king, and I will punish the the world for their evil. And the wicked for their iniquity, and I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease, and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the gold golden wage of oifer. All right, now pause. We want to touch on that, because right now, you know, men, specifically the Israelite man, you know, is looked at, you know, as a pretty much, if I got to say so, a piece of shit. All right. By the majority of the world, yep. and our women, our own women, the yep. so-called they, Israelite women, they, they treat us yeah. like shit. Yeah, the niggas ain't shit. This niggas yeah, ain't they shit. Ain't that. They, you know, he just one of them lame. Yeah, lame you know, this this what nobody move. Kind of, exactly. That's how we looked at. You know, especially if you're an Israelite man, and the truth now. You know, you pretty much look. They at really it. gonna hate you. Yeah, man. they really gonna hate you, and you looked at it as pretty much as a as a lame. You know, oh, you ain't like everybody else. You know, you lame, but see, yeah, uh, yeah you know, these stuff. right. But see, this way, this what's gonna happen. These Eves, right now, they're going after these damn Pookie and Ray Rays and John these Johns, yeah, GMO and Man Mans and all that. But Amalek created these GMO babies. Uh, so. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And this is this <laughs> the type of women that these these are the, these are the women that these type of uh, that's going. These type of men that these women are going after. Yeah. Right. And very soon they're gonna realize that. These men couldn't do shit for them because these type of men, they're going to be getting killed, getting sent over into the Middle East to uh, go to war and huh. all that. And, and, and the only man that's going to be standing and stable, all right, is the Israelite man of the elect. God, so yeah. those same men, so like, those same men that you was calling lame and all that, you know, that you looked down upon, you know, you didn't want to get a time of day and all that. Cool. You know, you're going to need those type of men. And, huh. and more, ten, 10 times out of 10, I say 9.5 times out of 10. Those men ain't gonna wanna have shit to do with you in that day. Yep. All right? Because they're gonna think back and realize and think back to when, you know, you treated them like shit when everything was up and running. But exactly. now you suddenly do Now when, when they yeah. no good right. and now they got what three children. Now they wanna be with you. Right. And when, now, now, or or when our hell break loose. Or when our hell break loose when they're old 
And even if they don't have children, now they're gonna wanna come back to you. Kinda. You already they, they, they gonna be like that one video I showed you with that old Jake. Old Jake yep, that Jake. Hey, big dog, I need you, big dog. I need, dog. You, I, need you. <laughs> I need about fifty. And, and, and majority of these uh these GMO babies, like the brother was mentioning, you know, and I ain't trying to you know promote you know DMX, yeah, but DMX, no. you know, a song called Where the Hood at. He he mentioned how majority of the these. He was mentioning this generation of so-called thugs today. He said these these homo thugs that be wearing dresses, dresses and uh and uh and, and high heels and uh skirts and lipsticks. He said, "Say I ain't touching your hand. I don't I don't, I don't f with chumps." But see that that's that's this generation of these 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 little GMO babies. Like for example, they look up to NBA Young Boy and Young Thug. These dudes, uh, these they claim to be so-called gangsters, but these dudes are painting their nails, wearing dresses, and kissing other dudes. And this is what you Eves think is is strong and masculine, instead of a real man who believes in the Bible and is standing for the Bible. Right. And most of those dudes that claim they hood, they ain't even about that life, man. No, they not. They're not about that life, man. They haven't seen a real OG crypt. Cause I can guarantee you a real OG Crip got at least he got some biblical knowledge. Cause we dealt with one, so we know. We, so we know we understand what a real, a real, a real brother against a brother would be like. Even though them niggas, them niggas threw too. Even though they threw, but but because it was one, he was he came out of being a Crip and he and he came into yeah, 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 Israelite. Yeah. He was a good, you know, he was a good brother. But you know, majority of these so-called young generation gangsters they ain't nothing but a homeless. Alpha hom homos, like 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 DMX said, homo thugs. Yep. That's all they are. Like look at Nelly Chopper. This nigga, this nigga, here it is. This this who you this who you two thirds look up to. Here it is. Uh, this nigga going to alphabet parades, hanging out with Saucy Santana, and uh, and LBG alphabet parades. But here it is. This dude is supposed to be so called gangster, tough gangster, right? <laughs> this. This is what and this is what this is what you these two third GMO babies be looking up to, man. Yep. This is what he thinks is masculine, and this is what I, they think is masculine and tough, man. See, and that's what that's, that's where they go wrong. A lot of you women, you get uh, being uh, emotional, little uh, effeminate nigga confused, you know. With uh, uh, no, you get the way that these niggas be acting, you know, tough and all that. You get that confused. With, Just because uh, they got guns, exactly. they think they all the whole time, the whole, whole time they really are feminine, they're emotional, you know, that's all it really be, you know, they're not tough, they're not masculine, they're just emotional, all right, exactly. feminine, that's all it really they're raised by their mama, right. they had no dad in their life, because like, I remember this video, Jake was trying to act all big and bad, Pops had to slap, slap the shit out of him, he wasn't big and tough then. He said, "Bring! I want you to bring all all your uh, all your little gangster friends. I'm gonna show you what gangster." No, I remember that. Yeah, I think I seen that. But see, that's what happens when you have a father in your life. See, these GMO babies, they don't have no fathers in their life. And I guarantee you, all these GMO babies that do have dads, they fathers hate their guts. They don't even fuck with them, man, because of how weak and how soft they are, man, and, and also, how useless. Yeah, it's speaking Lee on the two thirds. That's why they don't want to be around you. And so all y'all want to do is bad wickedness. So like, yeah. Yeah. And also that all goes back to the curses, you know, at the end of the day. Yep. You know, with the father not being in the life of the children, you know, that goes back to the curses in Deuteronomy chapter 28. That will be upon the Israelites for being disobedient. You know, that's part of our punishment. You know, that's why you have a lot of these emotional little niggas running around claiming that they tough. Whole time they just emotional and effeminate. And behind know? closed doors, they were painting their nails and wearing dresses and and kissing they they homeboys sat in their pants up up to their ass. <laughs> kind of. this That's is what they call manly. Yep. Uh, what they call gangster. <laughs> kind of. This is scripture that I'm referring to oh, right here. Man. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 54. It says, So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil towards his brother. And that, that's going into how back in the ancient days, you know, men were more brotherly to each other and whatnot. Yep. Exactly. And we was just going into that. Kind of. But see, but see, Esau eat them because we didn't listen to the Most High, man. We didn't turn back to you know our power. That's why the Heavenly Father allowed these Edomites to do what He's doing to Jake. Now Jake is going against each other. Now they're killing each other, selling drugs to each other. 
you know, um, you know, fighting each other over BS, over some stupid shit, yep. instead of helping each other and protecting each other, each other, especially from these heathens, man. God. But it's the total opposite, man. Yep. They're doing everything backwards, man, in the opposite. Yep. These niggas are very shysty. That's why you, when you come to the shoot game, you shouldn't have nothing to do with these niggas. Because there's no point. What, what, what do you have to do with these niggas? You shouldn't have nothing to do with them, all right? Because these niggas in the world, they're, 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 uh, they, they, they're a plot on you, all right? You know, they're, they're trying to damn smash your woman, all right? You know, they're trying to kill you for the slightest reason you looked at them wrong. You know, you stepped on his shoe, whatever the case may be, all right? So you gotta, that niggas, you gotta stay away from niggas in the world, all right? I think I got something going into uh, what you were saying. Kind. I'm gonna, yeah, kind. I'm gonna finish this scripture out that you can bring that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 54. And it says, and, toward, and towards the wife of his bosom and towards the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. All right, so they're going into what I just said a few minutes ago. You know, the reason why you don't have a lot of, have a, a, a you know, a, both parents in the household, you know, the man is out the, out the picture, the father is out the picture is because of the curses, all right? When you look at all the nations upon the earth, the only people that suffers this is the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, all right? You know, the so-called white man, they more than likely, they got both parents in the household, all right? You look at the damn Chinese people, they got both parents in the household, all right? Arabs, they got both parents in the household. The uh, Ishmaelites, all right, which is the uh, so-called East Indians, all right? You know, they got both parents in the household, but when it comes to us, we don't we don't have that. Majority of us are raised by uh, uh, single mothers and all that, you know, but that's due to the curses. So you got what you gonna bring up? This is 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 14. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness, and what communion hath light with darkness? Kind of. And that's going back to what I just said. You know, you ain't supposed to have, you should have nothing to do with niggas in the world, all right? Especially if you're in this truth, all right? You, you shouldn't, like what, what, like, what do you have to do with them, all right? You don't, it's like y'all y'all can't, Y'all can't uh, uh, agree on the same things, all right? The scriptures talk about how can two walk together unless you be agreed, all right? You on a different path. You trying to seek your how about Shimei Oshai? These niggas in the world. They trying to be poo shysties and, and, kind of, and exactly. kill and rob you. Right, that's what they trying to do. So like, why the hell is you coming together with them, all right? I ain't supposed to be together with them. Kind of. We supposed to be separated, man. You supposed to be cutting them off, man. Right. The same thing with these people that are so-called in the truth, but they into being a uh, witchcraft, like in you know in the conscious community and all that. Wait a minute, you don't believe in the Bible? I can't be equally yoked together with a witch. And that goes, yeah, kind of. And that's dealing with uh, IUIC. What happened about a week or two ago, I believe. Wait, they were. Uh, yeah, they was with uh, Islam. Yeah, Islam marching with Islam. First of all, we're not we, supposed to be together with, with Muslims. Yeah, kind of. First of all, we not even like we we not we wasn't told to go out there and march. We were told to go teach. All right. Where's, where's the edification coming from from uh, marching? No edification is coming from that, all right? Where in the scriptures does it say go march? Nowhere. We saw to go out there in the highways and the byways and bid our people to the marriage, all right? You know, and, uh, you know, uh, uh, feed our people his word, you know? And then number two, you know, we're not supposed to be coming together with these uh, religions like Islam and all that. Exactly. You know? For like, we're, not, we're not supposed to be equally yoked with them. Kind. Okay, Islam, we've already went into it plenty of times. Islam within itself is rooted in Satanism. Exactly. All right? So while what does uh, being an Israelite have to do with Islam? You're supposed to be trying to bring our people out of that. But here it is, you're trying to come together with them. You know, make it make sense. You know? Cop. It's just like you can't be equally yoked together and be friends with a with a homo with a homo uh, or alphabet person, man. It don't go together, man. No. It's wicked, man. It's, wicked. it's of the world, man. I can't be equally yoked with witches, uh, Muslims, homo, homosexuals, lesbians, you know, trans, and, and going on down the line, man. All right? You, you, you're you only supposed to be fellowshipping with the people who believe in the Bible and the Most High, man. Uh, All right? That's it, man. Yep. If people say they don't believe in the Bible, don't be with them, man. Stay far away from them, man. Don't even, don't talk to them. Don't, don't mention nothing. It, it don't even matter, man. Even if you're dealing with a, a particular woman, man. If she don't believe in the Bible, man, don't talk to her, man. Don't 
Hey man, keep her from a far, far distance, man. Don't don't even talk to that 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 bitch. You know what I'm saying? Cause hey man, these spiritual chicks, they fucking demons in anyway, here, man. But you know, we're gonna get into them spiritual bitches, you know, later. But but anyway, we, we wanted to stay mainly on the topic, you know, these sleeper cells, you know, coming on in. And this is uh, Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 13. Therefore, I will shake the heavens and the earth shall remove out of her place in the wrath of the Lord of hosts and in the day of his fierce anger. And it shall be as the chaz robe and as a sheep that no man taketh up. They shall every man turn to his own people and flee every one into his own land. <clears throat> every one that is foul shall be thrust through and every one that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their, before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravaged. Behold, I will stir up the meads against them which shall not regard silver and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. Kind of, that's pretty much uh, like pertaining to the topic we was on. That's pretty much it. You know about the Eve that just got, you know, uh, uh, exed out and graped yep. and whatnot. And then, and not only did she get exed out, he graped, he graped her while she was dead. While she was dead. Kind of, you know. That's, that's some Jimmy Jimmy Seville type shit kinda. right there. <laughs> kind of. So it's like we really don't even need to explain what it means by ravished. You already should already know what it means by ravished. Right. You know what it means to be and children know, so and so forth. to pieces, man. Kind of. so, and we just showed the article that the family got killed by 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 an illegal. Man. Yep. So that just shows you like this stuff is happening like right now. And it's going and to it, continue kind of. and get worse. Yeah, you know, it's happening right now in a society that still is up and running. So how much more in a society that has collapsed? And imagine you being a single woman with children. Yep. All right, you you don't got no type of hedge of protection, nope, or nothing. You have to fend for yourself and some children. Man. And you got to deal with all these illegal, these illegal sleeper cell, these illegal immigrants coming on in, and they're continuously bringing them on in. They're still coming on in. They're getting free cars, free money, free everything. And you don't just got to deal with those illegal immigrants. You know them ham, them dusty ass hamites, them uh, uh, them Moabites. You know them Elamites, and um, and then and then of course you got the you know you got some of the you got the tribes you know also coming mm -hmm. over here, and also the, the very soon man the cartels are taking over the being police now. Yep. Now they got the cartels taking over as the police for them. These people can't speak a lick of English. Now they taking over, and now they're being the police man. Now they're gonna have these brutal gang cartels. Uh, take take over uh, Babylon, man. Yep. All right, but see, you people don't even realize. It. And not only do you gotta deal with them illegal immigrants, you gonna also have to deal with them illegal immigrants who worships, uh, who practice Satanism, who drink blood, who um, especially the blood of in, of children, man. That's going to come too, man. They ain't just gonna 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 uh, go after your children. They gonna kill you too, and they gonna do some some stuff even worse than what that. Oh, Salaki. No, it's all good. Uh oh, oh. Yeah. And, and, uh, um, and, 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 just, and you ain't just gonna have to worry about um, what, um, going after your children. They, they gonna go after you people too. And, and what that woman, what happened to that Eve in Indianapolis, I can guarantee you it's gonna be even worse when, when they get the green light to do it. You're gonna hear things much worse. And you're gonna see, see it with your own eyes. Huh. Much worse, man. Yo. You people better pay attention to what's going on, man. Y'all better see what's going on in the news. Y'all better be reading your Bibles and knowing who you are, man. Because a lot of these people, they, they in La La Land. They, they don't have a clue. They even got these sleeper cells, uh, and they don't they don't even care. Sleeper cells are just walking by. They, they don't even care. Uh, you, you know, your, your Saeed that work at the uh, corner store? You know, uh, the, you you think he just a regular everyday Arab? A, re a regular citizen. Yeah, regular everyday Arab that works in the corner store and all that. It's it's a it's a possibility. That's a sleeper cell, but you don't know that though. You ain't gonna know it until they get that green light. You know. Yep, I got I got one more Kinda, scripture. Yeah, I got a scripture right quick. I want to go with uh, the topic of the 
the E. Huh. And I got one with, with an E too. Yeah. Huh. This is uh, Isaiah 32 and verse 9. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women. For the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare and gird sackcloth upon your loins. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's a, that was it. Kind. I wonder what that's saying in GNT, actually. Oh, you want to read Yeah, oh, I, yeah I, I wonder what that's going to say in the, um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I, feel like, I feel like it's probably going to be even more clear cut. All right, let me get the GNT. It's a lot here. Isaiah 32 and, uh, in the GNT? Yeah. I got you. You matter of fact, that's the same script. That's the same chapter that at the at the beginning they talk about how a man is gonna be a uh uh the hedge of protection. Roughly paraphrasing. A king with integrity someday. Okay. Uh, matter of fact, uh, let me see. Yeah, I don't like how how the GNT start with uh, Isaiah thirty two. Yeah, I kind of like the verse Isaiah thirty two and six. Yeah. Oh, how long is it? Yeah, this is yeah, cause I, I can already tell by the way it's starting off. This is gonna be clean cut. Yep. It's say where it's a judgment and restoration. Yep. Oh yeah, this is uh. It's All like, right, I can read it. You, this is Isaiah. Oh man, this is crazy. <laughs> oh yeah, damn. All right, yeah, right, we can GNT. GNT. It's, it's cold. Yeah. Oh yeah, we can use the GNT. It's yeah. lucky. We gonna bring it down, people. God. This is Isaiah thirty-two and nine in the GNT. You women who live an easy life, free from worries, listen to what I am saying. Ooh. You may be satisfied now, but this time next year, you will be in despair. Because there will be no grapes for you to gather. You have been living an easy life, free from worries, but now tremble with fear. Strip off your clothes and tie rags around your waist. Beat your breasts and oh, right. Ooh. dang, that's cold. Damn. It like from verse nine on down, it's like in, it's clean cut. In grief because the fertile fields and the vineyards have been destroyed. Kind of, I feel like when it comes to those. I feel like coming to verse twelve and verse uh, yeah verse twelve. Yeah. I, I feel like I like the KG KJV a little better. Yeah, kind. Yeah, but that, that was cool too. But I think I like the KJV a little better when it comes to verse twelve. God. But just reading, man. Sheesh. It's it, verse. Nine, let's read. They say verse nine says, "You women who live an easy life, free from worries, listen to what I'm saying." Because the majority of women right now, they're they're just living an easy life. They live. They 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 ain't got a care in the world, really. At all, you know, pretty much the society caters to women. All right. Then it goes on to say, you may be satisfied now, but this time next year you will be in despair because there will be no grace for you together. All right. You know, see right now, you know, uh, right now women are pretty much they got it made. All right. But very soon they're going to be in despair because the way of living is going to change very drastically. And Lord willing, it is next year. All right. Huh? Lord willing, it really is next year when all hell break loose and the way of living is totally different from how it is right now because the majority of these people and sticking to the topic majority of these women right now they're they're comfortable all right they need to be walking up to reality to see what's really going on because they they don't they don't understand what's getting ready to take place all right what else to say yeah i think that's pretty much that's that. yeah i think okay. so Con, yep and then the next topic man because you know, I wanted to address this and you know bring this to your attention. Matter of fact, Salaki, I didn't bring out the one I wanted to bring out. No. Oh, it's another. Yeah, one? this is probably the last one on that topic. Uh, in Ecclesiastes chapter thirty-six and verse twenty-five. All right, and it's to you women that don't have a uh, that want to put off, you know, uh, having a man and all that. Oh, I don't need a man. This I don't need a man. That. All right, listen up. It says uh, we're gonna start at verse twenty-four. It says, he that giveth the wife beginneth a possession. All right, a lot of these women get mad and say, oh, don't no man own me. 
you know, blah blah blah. But the scripture says otherwise. You will possess. You you will possess with the most sassy. All right. Well, what is a possession? Let's get the definition of it. All right. It's something that you own. Let's get the definition of it right quick. It says, um, matter of fact, yeah, possession, the state of having, owning, or controlling something, all right? So, yes, if you're a wife, you're owned, all right? You're a possession, God. all right? You're, you're, your husband, he tells you what you can and can't do, all right? You got to listen. You got to listen. That's why the scriptures talk about how women obey, uh, supposed to uh, submit to their husbands and all things. Or are you supposed to submit to your husband and all things? That's the way that Yahweh Bashem Yahushai wants to be. But see, these women in this society, they hate, they, they hate it. They say, oh, that's controlling. That's misogynistic. That's misogyny. That's misogyny. They hate women. All right, that's slavery. Like, no, it's not. It's the you, Bible. All right, it's the Bible. <laughs> you know? Now let's uh, go it's back. Like, uh, let's go back. It says, uh, verse uh, 25. All right, this is the point. Yeah, verse 25, this is the point. It says, where no hedge is, there is the there the possession is spoiled. And he that hath no wife will wander up and down mourning, all right? So like we just read in the previous verse, it says, he that getteth the wife, but getteth a possession. That woman is that man's possession. Verse 25 just said, where no hedge is, the hedge being the man, there the possession is spoiled. So basically saying, if a woman does not have a man, a husband, she's going to be spoiled, all right? And that's what's going to happen in these last days, point blank, period. You independent women that want to put getting a man on the back burner like it's not important, all right? You know, you're going to find out the hard way, all right? You know, and this is not us trying to woman hate and all that. You know, it has nothing to do with that. We're just giving you the reality of what's getting ready to happen here at Babylon the Great, all right? A lot of you women are very, living very comfortable like you just read about in Isaiah 32, all right? You think that you don't need a man because you're, 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 uh, 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 the so-called white man, he pretty much provides everything for you right now, you know? Everything is pretty much set up for you to win in this society, but very soon everything is about to be stripped from you, all right? You know, and we're going to be in a society where there's going to be no food, all right? You know, chasing, chasing the bag and chasing the career, that's going to be a thing of the past, all right? And it's just going to be you having a fan for yourself and the children that you got by yourself if you don't have a man. All right? You know, so you got, uh, got what you want to bring up? Um, oh, that's, that's pretty much it on that. Kind of. Yeah, but I wanted to bring this to y'all attention, man, because these elites, man, these, these secret society, you know, these masons, and, you know, we'll, we'll kind of go into that a little bit. But uh, can you give me a uh, start? Give me Amos 9 and 3 and then Job, 30, Job 34 and 20. I believe. Let me see. I had to make sure that's right. But I'm gonna show y'all what um, Esau Edom is getting ready to do while while they setting all these distractions because they're getting ready to get rid of the dollar fee. Yep. All right. They're getting ready to usher in this MOTB. They're getting ready to usher in martial law, and they're getting ready to close down. You know these businesses. It's about to go cashless, man. Because yep. um, a, a, a Starbucks said starting. October the first, they're gonna go cashless. But I want to bring to y'all the attention of the uh, of the uh, oh Salaki, Job thirty four and twenty two. Salaki. All right. So you said Amos ninety three first. Yep. And then Job 32, 34 and twenty two. All right. So this is Amos chapter nine and verse three. Job thirty four and twenty two. All right. So this is Amos chapter nine and verse three, and it says though and though they can't, so like and though they hid them, so like and though they hide themselves in the top of the Carmel, I will search and take them out thence. And though they be hid from my sight in the bottom of the sea, this will I command the serpent, and he shall bite them. Oh, yeah, yep, yeah, kind, kind. So, see, these elites, man, they're going to try to hide from y'all by shim y'all shot, man. But the Heavenly Father, he's going to search them out anyway, man. Because, hey, remember, the Heavenly Father, he sees everything, man. All right? He, he watches everything. His eyes are upon the sinful kingdom. Now, that's talking about the two thirds as well. But he's also watching you elite devils, man, and what y'all are doing, man. Okay? Now, I want y'all to, to bring this to your attention because if you don't know, um, this this was recent. So, this is um, what Denver Denver put out. Um, and this will be a 55. Shouldn't be too long. Denver International Airport announced. And look, and look at how these so-called news media... Look how they so-called, they'll try to deflect it to make it as if it's some big kind of joke. 
But in reality, these these news media, they sold out to the Freemason, Illuminati, the, their puppets. They got to push Esau Edom's agenda too, man. But, but listen to this. This was uh, three days ago. D Denver International Airport builds uh, new underground tunnels. Meanwhile, we are learning Denver International Airport announcing crews are building some new tunnels. Oh, where's my tinfoil hat? I Gotta know, put right? That thing on. <laughs> they say uh, they're trying to assure conspiracy theorists uh -huh. that it is not for an underground bunker. Okay. Or so they say. Right. Here are pictures of the project. Looks like an underground bunker to me. They say the West Gates Pond Expansion Project involves crews building tunnels over a mile long. The airport said the tunnels will upgrade the aircraft de-icing fluid collection system, helping the airport with winter weather. Um, they also say it will give the, the Illuminati a place to be. <laughs> Those tunnels they just look that. like they're waiting for conspiracy I'm just saying, to start. I'm just saying. <laughs> I, l I love all the mystique and mystery around. I like how they kind of play it. They do. Too. They, they do. put the sign because, because it's true. I mean, you this, have... uh, this what you call gaslighting, right? Yep, there. that's gaslighting. Mm -hmm. See, but see how they play it off as like it's some big type of joke. But see, here it is. I'm and just so y'all can know a little bit of the history of the um, the Denver International Airport. Here they um. See what the news, what they won't tell you about. Why won't they tell you about about this right here? They won't tell you about this mural of this guy killing all the uh, slaughtering all the children and all the innocent people and and slicing the dove and that Masonic Shriner, right? They're not going to show you this, and they won't. And they also won't show you a, the Masonic capstone inside of the um, Denver International Airport. That says uh, New World Airport. This capstone won't be open until 2094. So, so I wonder what's under that capstone, right? And why are the why did why did they put the Freemasons there? And it says uh, Most Worshipful Grand Master. And it says the um, Governor of Roy R. Romer and the uh, Wellington E. Webb Mayor uh, Wellington E. Webb. In the most worshipful Prince Hall Grand Lodge of FAM Colorado jurisdiction. Why why don't they talk about that? And why would they put that in the Denver International Airport, man? Because see, these elites, you know, these free masons, these secret societies that there be of, they're behind all, all these agent new world order agendas that they're getting ready to push, especially the having society worship the beast system, Satan system. But see, they and, and they even got underground uh, bunkers, you know, Bill Gates, you know, Bill Gates. Uh, uh, what's that? He owns Instagram and Facebook. Mark right? Zuckerberg. Yep, Mark Zuckerberg, uh -huh. um, Warren Buffett. They all got underground bunkers, if y'all don't know. They tell you they got it in Kansas, um, California. Why, why do all these celebrities got underground bunkers, man? As a matter of fact, you can get the Joe... Job 34 and uh, 22, because see, man, they think that they're going to see. They think that they think that they're going to get away with their agenda, with having majority of society worship Satan's beast system, and they think they're going to hide from the heavenly Father, and they think their plan is going to work. They think they're going to do the the Tower of Babel. Uh, they think they're going to re rebuild the Tower of Babel and over and and, and and try and overtake the Most High, man. But that's not going to happen, man. Okay. <laughs> And these devils, Job, Job thirty four and twenty two, right. and these devils, man, they think they think they're gonna get away with it, man. <laughs> they're not getting away with it, you know. They might be underground. They might be doing their uh, matter of fact. You can go ahead, Doctor. All right, Job thirty four and what? Thirty four and twenty two. All right, all right. So this is Job chapter thirty four and verse twenty two, and it says, "There is no darkness, nor shadow of death, where the works of the iniquity may hide themselves." Mm hmm. See that man, hey man, there's nowhere to hide, man. And see the most high, he knows you, you secret societies and what you Freemasons, man. All the wickedness and all the evilness you do, man. You can't hide from the heavenly father, man. He created everything, man. He even created you devils to play your role, man. So if he created you to play your role, how the hell can you hide from him, man? God, when he created you. Come on, man. That's common sense. Common sense would tell. Common sense would tell you that you ain't hiding from the Most High, man. He gonna get you, man. Right. Matter of fact, get Jeremiah sixteen and sixteen, cause the, the Most High is gonna have us getting busy on these top devils, man. Yo. That's what's gonna get. That's what's getting ready to come, man. 
But see, because they know the destruction of America is getting ready to come soon. They know that thermonuclear destruction is coming to America. They know America is going to get burnt by fire. That's why they they that's why they got their underground bunkers. And notice they got all their foods and all their their pantries and stuff. You really think and why you think Warren Buffett is selling all, you know, selling uh, all his stocks all his stuff. stocks and stuff, right. man. And he got his underground bunkers, man. Cuz they get, they these these elites, man, they know what's getting ready to come, man. But see all the all these underground cities cuz they 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 got the underground network cities everywhere, man. It's everywhere, man. Yep. It's here in uh, Kansas City. You know, and it, and it spread from, you know, Colorado, you know, Denver, Colorado, because, you know, you know, they got that demon horse, uh, Blucifer, right? Because, you know, they don't want to talk about that, but they don't want to talk about the demon gargoyle who said, welcome to Illuminati headquarters, or the Mesa, or the stone that was put there by the Freemasons, and, and, uh, letting us know that the secret societies, they be play a big role in this. And they also, they don't want to show that gigantic mural they were showing uh killing the people no they just want they they want to show the j just the underground bunker part and then they want to play stupid like 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 oh well these kid these tinfoil hat wears these conspiracy theories it looks like an underground bunker to me but 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 and, and then the idiots are watching they'll think oh they're mocking those conspiracy theories that's what the idiots are saying man Man, they, these devils know what they're doing, man. They're not gonna openly tell you. They're not gonna openly tell you what they're exactly doing, man. I mean, not now. Very soon they are, because Esau is out and proud, man. But 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 come on, man. I mean, you gotta be a complete damn fool, man, if you can't see, man, what Esau Edom is getting ready to do, man. I mean, it's right in your face, man. You know. And all these underground networks, man, where they traffic um, and take children and take um, these um, grown people. I think these people go missing, man. That's because they're in them underground, um, them underground cities, man. All right. And they're taking their organs. You know, they're sacrificing them unto their uh, unto their unto their god, Baphomet or Satan. And and that's what they're doing. That's what they're doing underground, man. But they, see, they ain't gonna tell you that, man. But, but see, man, and, and also what they're doing, man, they're, they're getting prepped that a, a Babylon is getting ready to be destroyed by thermonuclear, thermonuclear missiles, man. But that don't mean the, the, that don't mean them elite devils are exempt, man, because the Lord going to get them too, man. Trying. And it's prophesied that they, they would do that. It's prophesied that they would go into the holes and, and the clefts of the rocks. I'm going to get that. That's in uh, Revelation Revel yep, I got chapter that. 6. Yep. But this is a scripture I want to get right quick. Because like these devils, they think that they can hide their wickedness. They think that they, they can go hide in the uh, holes and the bunkers and all that. Yep. And they think they can hide their wickedness from your house. Yeah, no, nah, it ain't gonna work. Yeah, nobody. All the can, child yeah. sacrifice, all the you know, the drinking of the blood and all the Satan worshiping y'all be doing. Y'all can't hide that, man. It's being brought to the light, man. Yahweh shine. Yahweh is bringing is bringing that light out, man. Right. And you're and y'all you devils are being exposed, man. Yep. No, All your secrets this, inside. This, this scripture goes for pretty much everybody for that matter. Because you know, yeah, we right now we're talking about, you know, Esau Edom. But this goes for Israelites too. You know, you have a lot of people that think that, you know, the Lord don't see their wickedness and see what they're doing. You know, yeah, you know, the Lord, he might not have done anything to you yet for the wickedness that you do. But best believe, eventually you're gonna have to pay for that if you don't repent. So this is Ecclesiastes chapter 23 and verse 19. It says, such a man only feared the eyes of men. Because you have people that only fear what people going to think. All right? You know, you have people that, you know, want to hold their tongue because they they think that, oh, this person might look at me this way, so I'm not going to say this. You know? Or you got people that want to hold their tongue because, uh, you know, they they, or they they feel like somebody might feel some type of way about it. You know? You got people that literally fear men rather than Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right? It says... And knoweth not the eyes of the Lord are a thousand, or so I can know, and knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord are ten thousand times brighter than the sun, beholding all the ways of men and considering the most secret parts. All right, now because you got people that think that they can hide what they're doing from the Lord, you can't. You know, so you got people that think, well, I'm just eat this piece of pork, and you know, ain't nobody gonna know about it. You know, but the Lord said you do it though, and He told you not to eat it. All right, you know, it's good to say that you're not supposed to eat pork or swine. All right, that's a law that was given to us. All right. You know, the Lord said, you know, you ain't supposed to be laying down with another man's woman. All right. You know, and you think that you could go and secretly do that. 
No, but yeah, nobody else might have seen it, but the Lord seen it. Like the scripture just said, the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. All right? You know? So this applies to everybody. This applies to these damn devils that's in rulership. You know, this applies to you as well. All right? Oh. So this is uh, what you... Uh, oh, yeah, I got that for you. Yeah, Revelation it's 6. Revelation 6 and 15. Uh, therefore, uh, yeah, yeah. You said what verse? Oh, what did I say? You said Revelation 6 and what? Oh, I got that. Oh, I got that. This Revelation 6 and uh, 15. And the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men and every bondman and every free man hit themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains and said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath is come. Who shall be able to stand, man? Come and that's exactly, that's exactly what these devils are doing. They know that they the hide from you. Yeah, shot, they know man. that the day of the Lord is coming. Amen. You know, so that's why they get in these damn bunkers. You know, they they know that the, that World War Three is coming. And they, they know that during World War Three, the house shot gonna come back. Con Fauci, uh, Klaus Schwab, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, all of them are hiding, man. Con. Why you think uh, Schwab and why you think they all stepping down, man? Yep. They told you the agendas that they getting ready to push. Uh, now, now, now that now it's gonna get enforced, man. All right, but they think they can hide from Yahweh Shah, man. But they ain't gonna hide from Yahweh Shah, man. Uh, <laughs> Yahweh Shah gonna unleash that wrath on them, man. Yep. That's why I get Jeremiah. It was Jeremiah sixteen and sixteen. Uh, yeah. Right. And then after that, I'm gonna get a priest up to go along with because I think Isaiah talked about it too. Isaiah chapter two. Oh yeah, come. So this is Isaiah chapter sixteen. We can start at verse fourteen, really. It says, uh. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that shall be shall no more be said. The Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. All right, that's talking about the first exodus when we was brought out of the land of Egypt. All right, nobody's going. A day is going to come where nobody's going to talk about that anymore. Why? Verse thirteen. It's like in verse fifteen. It says, "But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north, and from all the lands whither he had driven them." And I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their nations. All right. And this is a prophecy that has not happened yet. All right. You know, because we already know the children, the real children of Israel is not back in the land right now. You know, so this prophecy has not came to pass. It's going to come a time where nobody's going to be speaking of the first exodus anymore, but the second one. All right. Because the second exodus is going to surpass the first one because of the way that things are going to take place. You know, Yahweh Shai is going to come back with the angels, right? America, Babylon, the grave is going to be destroyed by fire from the nuclear missiles, all right? Along with the fire that's coming from the chariots, all right? The elect of the nation of Israel is going to be beamed up into those chariots, all right? Like going back to uh, Ecclesiastes, uh, what was it, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5. I think it's Wisdom, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, where we're talking about their enemies beheld them. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, to see our enemies, Lord willing, will be the elect, but the, our enemies are going to be seeing us being beamed up into the chariots. Yep. All right, so-called UFOs. All right, you know, that's why this exodus, the second exodus is going to surpass the first one. Because you're going to see something that's out of this world that the world has never seen before. All right? Verse uh, 16. No, verse, uh, yeah, verse 16. Wait a minute. Yeah, verse 16, it says, Behold, I will send for many fishers, said the Lord, and they shall fish them. And after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. Let's talk about the elect, man. God. The Lord is going to have his elect, his 144 elect men. We're going to be getting busy on these elite devils, man. We're going to be searching for them, man. We're going to be hunting for them, man. And hunters kill people, man. Not only do they just hunt them down, they kill them, man. God. That's what we're going to be doing to these elites, man, that are hiding under their bunkers, man. You know, you, you know, your Ted Turner's, your Klaus Schwab's, you know, and uh, all of them, and Gates, Fauci going on down the line, man. They ain't, they ain't exempt. Okay. The Heavenly Father going to have his elect. If you Lord willing, we are the elect. We're going to be getting busy on them, man. God. Truth be told, we're going to be chopping their heads off, kicking them like soccer balls. Truth be told. And, and, and it's going to be a lot of stuff, man. But we're going to have fun with these devils in that day, man. 
The Lord gonna be having us get busy and serious, man. And He gonna give us the powers to do it, man. Okay. In that day, man. Yo. So and at the end of the day, like you better have that faith and belief in your hour shot, man. Okay. So you can be of the elect, man. And if, if it's destined, man, then the, the Lord to give you those powers, then uh, Lord willing, you you can be of that elect, man. But you gotta believe and have that faith, man. And stand for it, man. You gotta stand for your hour shot and your hour, man. Okay. All right. Yo. All right. Go ahead. Huh? And uh. Just to add on, you know, the scripture said, I will send for many fishers and they shall fish them. Right now, that's what we're doing. We're being fishers of men right now. All right, we out here trying to fish for the elect, you know, and trying to bend them to come to the marriage. All right, but uh, eventually, those fishers, they're going to be turned into hunters, like we just read. All right? Verse uh, 17. And it says, For my eyes are upon all their ways, they are not hid from my face. Neither is there iniquity hid from my eyes. That goes back to what we've been saying. The eyes of the Lord are 10,000 10, times brighter than the sun. All right? You cannot hide your ways from your Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. All right? There's no faking it till you make it with your Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai because the Lord, he searches out your inner secret parts. All right? He searches out your heart. He knows you. All right? He knows you better than you know yourself. All right? So you can't hide nothing from your Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai at all. You know? And he then, sees everything. Man. Yeah, exactly. And then not, not not even just dealing with these uh elites. All right, you got Israelites, you know, the so-called wealthy Israelites and all that. Yep. Like Rick Ross. Yep. You know, yep. They, Rick Ross, yeah. Jay-Z, uh 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 Meek Mill, God. um Dame Dash, yep. uh, uh man, cause there's so many of them, you know, uh, famous uh you got uh uh Diddy. Yep, Diddy. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you already like yeah, Shannon Sharks, LeBron James, yeah, these type of celebrities. Sha Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah, they got bunkers. They they got bunkers, and this this applies to them as well. All right, wicked Israelites, they're going to be hunted as well. God. All right, the scriptures say that the Lord is going to uh, those that are not uh, those that be my enemies, bring them hither and slay them before me. All right, because you're going to have Israelites that try to flee to other countries and go into bunkers. They're going to be hunted as well, and they're going to be brought before Yahweh Shai. God. And if they don't serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, they're going to be slayed right there. Come. All right? Let me see if I can get there right quick. Yep. This is a... I kind of got a, a, a scripture kind of going into it. And this is going into how Yahweh Shai, he died for the sins of the Israelites, man. Because if it weren't for Yahweh Shai, man, we'd all be dead, man. You know, through, you know, in Salaki, correct me if I'm wrong. I think it was, was it through the sin of Adam? Or... Uh, oh, we'll say that again. What was your question? I was speaking on how Yahweh Shai, he uh he died for the um the Israelites because if it weren't for him, we'd all be dead, you know. Kind of. Was it first through uh, through you know Adam, you know, through the Garden of Eden, as kind of. far as you know the sin running rampant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of. all right, I got that. Cause that's where ultimately sin came into the world through what Adam and Eve did. Kind of. Cause happened. Eve accepted you know the serpent, kind of. and you know instead of Adam being that head and just just you know controlling the Eve telling her what to do and what not to do she she he went to his woman you know right. and then he saw Edom all he had Satan all he had to do was entice Eve. Oh, all you gotta do is this and he fell for it man she fell for the bay all she just a little emotion all it took uh, the serpent he knew all it took was a little a little emotion just 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 to get Eve you, you know to, to make her feel good and then once she once she felt that then that, that she did according to what the serpent said instead of what Yahweh Shai said. Huh. And that's when sin was brought into the world, man. But see, through Yahweh Shai, um, that, that we were saved through Yahweh Shai, man. That's why it's important to believe in Yahweh Shai, man. Because you got these Old Testament only Israelites, they don't believe in Yahweh Shai, man. That's what's going to get them uh, condemned, man, and destroyed, man, you know, when, when he comes back. This it's is, a lot, I just, I just want to bring this out so I don't forget. Okay, yeah, you know, uh, it's like, yeah, yeah, because like, like I was mentioning, you know, you're gonna have, you know, uh, Israelites that, you know, going to be hunted as well. Those that don't want to serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that try to flee to other countries, try to hide themselves, so on and so forth. Because two thirds of Israel, if you're an Israelite, you're not of the elect here in Babylon the Great, you're gonna be destroyed with the ther thermonuclear missiles, right? But you're also gonna have Israelites in other countries that are not of the elect, all right. You know, and they're going to be hunted as well. You know, they're going to be hunted and they're going to be brought forth uh, before Yahweh Shai. And if they don't want to serve Yahweh Shai, they're going to be a uh, slave. Okay. All right. 
This is Luke chapter 19 and verse 27. It says, but those my enemies, which were not that I shall reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. All right. You know, if it's going to be, it's going to be Israelites that's going to see all these miracles taking place in, in the last days. Yahweh Shah is literally going to be there and they still going to be rebellious. All right. And they, they still ain't going to want Yahweh Shah to reign over them. So this is what's going to happen. The Lord, he's going to have them slayed right before him. All right. This is Ezekiel chapter 20 and verse 38. This is a precept to go along with what I just said. You know, verse, uh, yeah, Ezekiel chapter 20 and verse 38. It says, and I will purge out from among you the rebels. All right. You're going to have rebels amongst us that's going to have to be purged out. And they're going to, like we just read in Luke chapter 19 and verse 27, they're going to be brought before Yahweh Shai. And if they don't want Yahweh Shai to reign over them, they're going to be slayed. All right. This is uh, Ezekiel chapter 20 and verse 38. It says, I will purge out from among you the rebels and them that transgress against me, and I will bring them forth out of the country where they sojourn, and they shall not enter into the land of Israel, and you shall know that I am the Lord. All right, you're going to have Israelites in other lands. You know, they are going to be rebels. They ain't going to want to have Yahweh Shah reign over them, and they're going to be put to death. All right? So not only is these elites and these other nations going to be hunted, you know, brought out their holes. Two-thirds, Jake, your rebellious Jake. They're going to be put to death. Too. Well, two-thirds, two-thirds is, two is pertaining to the, to America. You know, because oh, you know, one-third and two-thirds is pertaining to America. Con. But the other Israelites that's not of the elect outside of America. Oh, yeah, Ka, Oh, yeah, the other Yeah, the con. Yeah, exactly. They're going to be uh, hunted and purged out. They're going to be brought before Yahweh Shai. If they don't wanna, want Yahweh Shai to reign over them, they're going to be slaves. You know, so I just brought that out to show you that, you know, these are other nations that's got the bunk, their bunkers, along with Israelites that got bunkers. They're going to be hunted as well. Con, so you can bring, bring out what you want to bring out. All right. This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter uh, 15, 15. And I'll start at verse, uh, uh, I guess I'll start at verse 19. Uh, if in this life we we also have hope of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, we are of all men most miserable. But now in Yahweh Shai Mashiach from the dead and became become the first fruits of them that slept. For since by man come death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Yahweh Shai Mashiach shall all be made alive. But every man in his own order, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, the first fruits afterward, they that are Yahweh Shai Mashiach at his coming. Then cometh the end when he shall de have delivered up the kingdom to the Most High, Yahweh, even the Father, when he shall have put down all rule and, the, and all authority and power. But he must reign till he have put all enemies under his feet. All right, man. So that's what's going to happen, man. So you got to understand, man, that Yahweh Shai, he was the only one who died, who, who, who died and, and, and resurrected again, man. All right. And he died for you, for you so-called blacks and Latinos out there, man, for you so-called Israelites out there, man. Because if it weren't for Yahweh Shai, man, we'd all be dead, man. And that's the and that's just the truth, man. We will all be destroyed by the Heavenly Father. So that's why it's important that you got to acknowledge Yahweh Shai, man. And, and, the, and Yahweh is going to bring the angels, and Yah, mainly Yahweh. And Yahweh is going to, not only is he going to destroy, he's not only is he going to destroy America and Babylon, he's going to destroy all the, he's going to destroy all of the, all of our enemies, man. And he's going to destroy all these people that are in power, man, like these small ass. They going to all be under Yahweh Shai's feet, man. All of his enemies, man. All right, Yahweh Shai, he's gonna take over. He's gonna take over all their kingdoms, man. And the kingdom of heaven, Yahweh Shai is gonna bring the kingdom of heaven here on earth, man. All right, and we're going, and Yahweh Shai is going to sit at his throne, man. And we're going to worship Yahweh Shai, man, in truth and sincerity, man. All right, everybody, everybody, man. all these other nations, they gonna have to. Bow it don't down. matter if you were atheist. It don't matter if you don't. You're Old Testament only Israelite. You're going to bow down to Yahweh Shai whether you like it or not, man. Huh. And y'all going to worship and serve him, man, whether you like it or not, man. Because he was the reason, man, why we're still alive to this day, man. That's why we're going hard, man. We're going hard for him, man. Huh. And you so got to be you got to be thankful to him, man. Huh. So, like, I'm a, I think it's a scripture go with that. 
But not to get off topic, I just got a notification from CNN. Uh -huh. It says breaking news, at least 64 people are feared dead after a boat accident in Nigeria. And Nigeria, that's, that's Jake out there. Yep. You know, that's, that's, uh, that's, that, that's West Africa, I believe. And you know, that's where Jake is. Yep. You know, Nigerians, that's, that's us. You know, you might have some that are not Israelites over yep. there. But you got some that are of us. Yeah, a lot of us are, are over there in Nigeria because that's West Africa. You know, where we ultimately uh, came from, the shores of West Africa, over here to America. You know, you still got Israelites over there. So, you know, what just happened, you know, that's a lot of Israelites that just got X'd out. You know, that's the importance of repenting these last days because you never know when the Lord gonna pull your card and be like, you know what? You know, enough is enough. You know, I warned you many times, you didn't listen. So now you know, I'm to put you to death. Right, now you gotta come back to the spiritual realm, you know? Cause that's what happens after you after you die. You go back to the spiritual realm, you know, you gotta go before the throne of Yahweh Shai, or Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, all right? You know, but um, let me see if I can find that scripture that ultimately talks about how all nations are gonna bow down to the Lord. Let me see if I can find that. Come. And, 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 and that's what he gonna do, man. So all these elites, man, all these devils, man, they might have their power just for a little period of time, man. But see, Esau knows, man, his time is short, man. Yahweh Shai, he's going to be the one to overtake the elites power, man. And Yahweh Shai gonna get that power, man. All right? He's gonna, he's gonna give it back, and he's gonna give it back to Yahweh, man. But we're gonna worship a Yah Yahweh Shai, man. Right, and Yahweh Shai is gonna put the, the crown on this 144 elect, man, that the that the angels, you know, put that seal, you know, in Revelation 7, man. Kind of. It's a few scriptures that say this. Hold on. Let me see which one the best one. Psalms chapter 22, verse 27. Yep, and I got one more scripture now. This one more. A list. Yep, this is a uh, yeah, this is Psalms chapter twenty-two and verse uh twenty-seven. It says, All the ends of the world shall remember and return, so I can turn unto the Lord, and all the kindreds of the nations shall worship before thee. Alright, so all all nations are gonna worship and bow down to your uh your Alright? Yep. This is uh Psalms chapter seventy-two. I wanna get one that's more clear cut. Yeah, it says, uh, it says, yeah, all kings shall bow down before him and all nations shall serve him. All right. So all nations are going to serve Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right. All nations are going to bow down to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right. And no, this does not mean all nations can receive salvation. All right. It just means that everybody is going to respect the Lord, the one and true power and bow down to him. All right. You know, in the kingdom, there's not going to be of uh, this nations. They, they have their own God, you know. You know, or this nation, they have Buddha, you know, or, or they have Shiva. Yeah, you know, it's not, it's not, nah, it ain't gonna yeah, work it, like that. It ain't gonna be like how you have it right now. You know, you gotta respect people, religion, and all that. The hell with your religion. Man, fuck your religion. Kind of, exactly. You know, the like hell the with Lord your religion. Gonna, man, the Lord gonna, man, the Lord gonna tear your your religions, man, and your and your satanic gods. He's gonna break them altars up, man. Kind of. I think it's the scripture that say that, breaking peace their idols. Yeah. I think it's, is it, I wanna say, is it, Leviticus or well not Leviticus uh, Exodus yeah I think so let me see break down their altars yeah, yeah, yeah I think that's the one let me see I think that's ex I think it's Exodus I think well it might be uh, I could be wrong I, well, you, I think it's a different one I think I don't forget the one that you're talking about. I forget what it said, but Deuteronomy chapter 12, verse 3 says, and you shall overthrow the, matter of fact, let me get the four. Let me see. I want to make sure I'm getting the right context of it. Okay, it was Deuteronomy. That's what I thought. Yeah, kind of. All right, uh, I, I can get that. Yeah. <clears throat> Deuteronomy chapter 12, verse 3. Let me see. Uh, all right, here we go. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 12, and uh, verses 3. And ye shall overthrow. Matter of fact, I can start at verse uh, 1. There, these are the statutes and judgments. This is Deuteronomy 12 and verse 1. 
Oh, so lucky. Oh, suck. Is that 20? Yeah, just hit cast. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Um, I guess we can get some few scriptures because I wanted to bring some important ones. Nah, nah. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 12 and verse 1. These are the statutes and judgments which ye shall observe to do in the land which the Lord, the Lord thy God, the, the Lord Yahweh of thy fathers, given thee to possess it all the days that ye live upon the earth. Ye shall utterly destroy all the places wherein the nations which ye shall possess serve their gods upon the high mountains and upon the hills and under every green tree. And ye shall overthrow their altars and break their pillars and burn their groves with fire. And ye shall hew down the graven images of their gods and destroy the names of them out of that place. Uh, All right, so that's what's going to come, man. Very soon, man. The Lord, the Lord said He's going to allow us to tear and break all these idols, man. Especially Baphomet, man. That's that statue needs to get axed, axed, broken, and torn down into pieces, man. That these so-called celebrities and politicians worship, and now they got our people unknowingly worship, man. Uh -huh. And all these gods like Buddha, uh, Shiva, Hindu, uh, Kali. Uh, um, all these did all these gods from the nations. We're going to tear all their idols and we're going to break all their idols into pieces. All these damn obelisks, uh, these Freemasons worship, man. We're going to tear that down too, man. When that day comes, man. Right. And this this was uh going. This was like back then when we were supposed to be going into the land of Israel. You know, this was this was uh, told to us to do that back then. You know, before we entered into the land, we had to tear down the idols we had to destroy it. Yeah, exactly. it. right so what, what, what do you think is going to happen this time we're going to have to do we're going to have to do we're going to have to do it all these the the the, the, the stone rock over in mecca that that yep. big cube that yep. these uh damn muslims uh uh bow down to, to tear that that's, that's going to be destroyed you know that all buddha that. statue these buddhas we're going to have to burn that up yep okay oh. bafflement yep. statue we're going to have to burn that all these gods and goddesses yep. you know these egypt these Egyptian guys they worship, we're gonna have to burn and tear that up right, too. These so called man. temples, them down, the great pyramids of Giza. Yep, you know, all, all that, that bullshit. Yeah, all those. These so called uh, Freemason lodges, uh, these so called Freemasons, these. Uh, the damn Christian <laughs> church. Yep. <laughs> we're gonna have to tear all that down yeah, too, it man. Gotta go. Yeah, it gotta, it gotta go to damn. Uh, 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 what's that over in Rome? The, uh, what's that? Uh, yeah. Yeah, the, the Vatican. Yeah, the Vatican. Go ahead and tear that, yeah, that down too. Yeah, that gotta go. You know, a lot of our history probably in there. You know, they, that that might get taken out first. You know, they might get taken out first because you know they have, they got a lot of our ancient history in there. Yep. You know, but you know, I'm not how sure how the Lord gonna do it, but He might have us. You know, take the, take the history out. Yep. You know, and then after that, just destroy the place. Huh. You know, the, the Catholicism that's rooted in Satanism. That's as well. paganism. It's paganism. You know, they try to make it seem like it has something to do with the Lord, but it doesn't. It's rooted in Vegas. Yep. Matter of fact, I, I got a scripture going into that. Actually, that's the spirit, because actually, this kind of goes, you know, you know, with these with them unconscious clowns. But yep. anyway, let me get that. Because I'm going to uh, get it in the GNT. Because uh, Catholicism, that, that, that's, that, that's been around before Christianity. Christianity is basically a branch of Catholicism, you know. But Christian, Catholicism has been, a long, been around uh, longer than Christianity, if I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken, you know. Let me make sure if this is the right one. Uh, it might be. Uh, let's see. Okay. Yep. Yep. All right. This is wisdom of. Uh, this is wisdom of Solomon. I'll start at uh, verse uh, 5. This is Wisdom of Solomon chapter 14 and verse 5 in the GNT. It is in your will that the things you have made by your wisdom should be put to use. And so people can cross the sea in a boat and come uh, safely to land because they trust their lives to that small piece of wood. Verse 6, this was how it was in ancient times. When a proud race of giants was dying away, the hope of the world escaped on such a boat under your guidance and left the world a new generation to carry on the human race. 
Verse 7, a blessing was on Noah's wooden boat that allowed righteousness to survive. Verse 8, but a curse is on an idol made by human hands. A curse is also on the one who makes it because he works on this perishable thing and then calls it a god. Verse 9, ungodly people and these godly things they make are equally hated by Yahweh who will punish both the things made and the people who made them. And so the Most High's judgment will fall on pagan idols because even though they are made from something God created, they became horrible things that trapped the souls of foolish people. Verse 12, sexual immorality begins when idols were invented. They have corrupted human life ever since they were first made. Idols have not not always existed nor will they ever exist forever it was human pride that brought them into the world and that is why a quick end has been planned for them once there was a father who was over overwhelmed with grief at the ultimately death of his child so he made an image of that child who had been suddenly taken from him he then honoreth honor a dead human being as a god and handed on secret rituals and ceremonies to those who were under his authority as the time went on this, this ungodly custom became stronger finally it became law and idols were being worshipped at the command of powerful rulers when people lived too far away to honor a ruler in his presence but were eager to pay honor to this absent king they would imagine what he must look like and would then make a likeness of him. The ambitious art and artists who made these like your likenesses, sis. Prime. And see that, and that's what you see going on right now, man. Yep. All right? Majority of, of these people, man, they're worshiping and serving these other gods, man. Instead of Yahweh Bashim Shai. These were pagan gods, man. Like like when the brother was talking about, you know, going into these, you know, these guys that they have at the uh, Catholic Church, which originated really is the Christian Church, man. They got right, for example, women weeping in Talmuds. They got the, uh, you know, that Talmud statue. You know, they got people celebrating Easter, Christmas, and Thanksgiving. They got you believing Yahweh Shai was born on uh, Christmas, which really we all know that's Nimrod's birthday. We know Nimrod had sex with uh, Ishtar. Ishtar, um, the god, the, the goddess of fertility, and that that's that spirit they're putting out. That the, the goddess Ishtar, and that's who these witches and these pagans worship. But secretly, they put these pagan gods in the in your so-called Christian churches. Man, you're worshiping Talmuds, and you ain't even know it. Praying to to that Virgin Mary, you praying to uh, Caesar Borgia, man. But you don't even realize Caesar Borgia was a homosexual, and they get all of it. From their pagan gods, okay? Because that's what they would do. They would do secret rituals, man. All right? Secret ceremonies, man. That's why when we go into the Illuminati and these secret societies, man, you know, you know we're, we're telling you that's what they do, man. It's sexual immorality, man. Why you think these Satanists like uh, Aleister Crowley writes uh, books um, talking about them doing their sex, their, their sex magic or their sex rituals, man? Because they, they're doing sexual immorality. They're doing the most worst, evil, wicked things possible that you could ever imagine, man. You know, with, with doing it with children, doing it with adults, you know, with their uh, uh, ceremonies. And then you get uh, Pro, uh, Proverbs 6 and 10. Come. And, and I'm going to go quick and, you know, j just straight to the point. That's why they worship uh, Baphomet, man. Yep. All right. Why do you think they put the movie out like Eyes Wide Shut? Or the believers, and the um, and, and, and Stanley Kubrick after he made that movie, that movie is based off a true story. That's why they killed him, man. All right, because that's what they that's what these people do, man. All right, they worship and serve Satan, man. Because because see, they're so proud, man. They want to worship and serve other gods, man, instead of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And that's why they're making all these satanic gods known here in Babylon. That's why they had that Hindu monkey statue, man. Now they got, that's why they had uh, Shiva at CERN, man. All right? Because they're getting ready to put their satanic 
a de demonic uh, force out on on onto the world, man. Okay. All right, and that that's why they take their that's why they take their oaths, <clears throat> man. All right. So when they do the the sh they're taking their oath to baffle to to save, man. All right, because they can't tell you the secrets, man. All right. And Salak, y'all want to make a correction? As yeah. uh, oh, a few minutes ago, mm -hmm. where I was talking about how uh, Catholicism comes from Christianity, it's really uh, no, I said Christianity comes from Catholicism. It's the other way around. I uh, made a slip up. Oh no, kind of. Yeah, because uh, yeah, kind of yeah. Christianity. That's that uh, Catholicism is actually a branch from Christianity kind of. or whatnot. So I had, I had that Because technically, it's the same thing. Same thing, thing you but know. Yeah, but yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Catholicism comes from Christianity. And that's why you got these these pastors like Joel Osteen and uh, uh, th them pastors and uh, Jamal Bryant. And them. They all sold out to Satan, man. All right, and now they're pushing their new age prosperity garbage. That's why um, t that's why uh, Joel Osteen is promoting Hindus, saying Hindus worship God, man. They worship Satan, man. They're dealing stuff with power on the left hand side, man. All that Hinduism, all that Buddhism, man. All that is from Satan, man. That ain't got nothing to do with the Heavenly Father, man. All right. But see, man, the Most High is planning an end for them, man. All right, so all these idols, man, all these guys they worship, all these secret societies is going to come to an end, man. And the Heavenly Father, had, and he told you, the Heavenly Father has it set up for them, to, to, for their end, man. Because them doing their evilness, their wickedness, their um, child molestation and, and pedophilia, right? And their, and their rituals of drinking, drinking humans' blood. And you know, doing all their sexual, you know, all their 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 satanic, their weird, uh, sexual acts they be doing, and all them uh, signs and symbols they be throwing up, man. All that shit's gonna come to an end, man. The Heavenly Father, he's gonna put an end to that, man. And that's why this devil. That's why you know his time is short, man. That's yeah. why he got to do what he got to do. Yeah. That's why he got to roll. That's why he got to roll out the mark of the beast, which is the the karagma, which is that chip, man. Because his time is short, man. These secret societies, they can't hide no longer, man. They're being exposed, man. All these devils are being exposed, man. Of them worshiping Satan, man. It's being brought out, man. Yahweh Shah, Yahweh, they're bringing it, they're bringing that light out, man. And they hate it, man. They hate that light being out. So now they're gonna come, they're gonna come down on us. Yep. So you said uh Proverbs chapter what? Six and ten and uh and through fourteen. This is Proverbs chapter 6, verse 10, and it says, uh, Yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. Verse 11, So shall the, thy poverty come as one that your belly, and thy want as an armed man. And that's, that's what's going to happen. You know, it's, you know, this place, you know, it's saying people look at this place like the richest place around, you know, the land of milk and honey, but very soon this place is going to see poverty, all right? You know, like it's never seen before. People talk about how it's going to be a, a, a what's the word for it? You know, not not a depression. Uh, what's the other one? Like right before depression. Oh, um, uh, uh, let me see if I can find it. Can't think of the word right now. It's a uh, not a. It's not a depression, but it's the like it, it comes right before a depression and whatnot. Yeah, a recession. That's the word I'm looking for. A recession. All right. It's not you know this place is not going to receive a recession. It's going to get to a point where it's going to be a depression greater than the Great Depression. You know, this place is going to see poverty like it's never seen before, like the scripture just said. So. Um, yep. That's okay. Yep. All right. Continue. Kind of says. Uh, a naughty person, a yep, wicked man. That's the one. That's what I want. All right. Good. It says, a naughty person, a wicked man, walketh with a froward mouth. Verse 14, frowardness is in his heart. He devises mischief continually. He sows discord. Kind of, that's exactly what this devil does. He sows discord. You know, he causes a mischief and all that. You know, so on and so forth. You know, that's exactly what this devil does. That's what you want to end up with. Oh, oh or verse four, verse. Uh, oh, you read thirteen? Yeah, I think I did, unless I skipped it. Yeah, I did skip it. Yeah, yeah. So lucky. Oh no, you yeah. Can, it says yeah. Uh, he winked with his eyes. Yep, he speaketh it. with his feet. He teacheth with his fingers. 
Verse 14, forwardness is in his heart. He devises, devises mischief continually. He sows discord. Oh yeah, verse 15. Verse 15, therefore shall his calamity come suddenly. Suddenly shall he be broken without remedy. Now, now tell me, man, that the Most High didn't just expose all these, you know, these top devils in just that scripture, man. Huh. All right? He winketh with his eyes, man. When you see all these celebrities, you know, covering their eye, man, you know, throwing up the, uh, you know, throwing, uh, you know, speak, speaking with his fingers, man. That's why when they do that shh sign, all right, they're, they're giving their allegiance to, uh, to, to, to Satan, man. Yep. All right, so that's that. That's why when you see all these celebrities throwing up the six 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 or throwing up the goat or the bafflement, they're they're telling you, you know, who they're they're get, they're telling you their who their allegiance to their God is, man, and to, and to prove that, man. Here's a um, here's the book right here. As you can see, this this these are the um, the rituals that these so called celebrities partake, man. And this is Crowley doing the doing the shh sign or the Hippocrates, yeah. you know, be quiet right. sign. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And see, man, the Heavenly Father said they're gonna be destroyed, man. All right? Cause see, man, all all their um, all their rituals that they're doing, man, it's not gonna be it's not gonna be hidden for too long, man. Most yep. High is going to completely expose that, man. Yep. All right? Cause these celebrities, man, they they took their oath, man. They signed their name in blood and said that they agree that they're going to come up against the children of Israel and that they're going to push uh, a Satan's new world order and that they're going to uh, practice the teachings of, of Crowley because that's what these celebrities do, man. Majority of them do, man. That, okay, that's where they get. The, that's how they get, get their stuff from. They get it from that top devil, Aleister Crowley, man. Uh, all right, but but you know, and, and that's all the uh, the point I wanted to make on that. Now I'm gonna get uh, I'm gonna get uh, Wisdom of Solomon 13 in the GNT because man, you you Jakes out there, man, listen, I don't give a damn, man. Here in this time, man, you gotta be a complete damn fool, man. If you if you are leaving this truth to be a damn Buddhist, man, or, or leaving this truth for any other satanic religion, man. All right, I'm gonna prove that. Get uh. Wisdom of Solomon in the GNT, verse 13. So lucky. All right, I got that. Right. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 13, and I'll start at the first verse. Anyone who does not know the Most High is simply foolish. Let me read that again. Anyone who does not know the Most High is simply foolish, man. If you don't know Yahweh Bashim Shai, man, or if you become coming into this knowledge and leaving Yahweh Shai for some for, for something else, you're a damn fool, man. Most High is calling you a damn fool, man. That 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 that, that nigga, that effeminate ass Jake. Who said, um, oh, I didn't want to be an Israelite. I mean, look at how he, he sounds fucking soft. He sounds like a bitch, man. I mean, j just in his voice, he sounds like a fucking bitch, man. But, but, but see, man, <laughs> hey, man, you only delivering yourself unto uh, destruction, man. All right? God is, uh, it's like such people look at good things around them and still fail to see the living God. They have studied the things he made. But they have not recognized the one who made them. Instead, they suppose that the gods who rule the world. And Salaki, so can you give me uh before we close, because I know your phone phone go time. Uh, can you get uh in Timothy 4 or 3 where it says people in the last days are gonna have itching ears. Hmm. They're not gonna they're not gonna listen. Huh. Because that's the times we're coming into, man. And Salaki, so and let me finish in wisdom of Solomon. Um Instead, yeah, uh, that the gods who rule the world and fire a wind or storm or the circling stars or rush water or the heavy bodies, people were so delighted with the beauty, yeah, with the, the uh, beauty of these things that they thought they must be gods, but they should have realized that these things have a master, that he is much greater than all of them, for he is the creator of beauty and created them. 
Says people are amazed at the power of these things and how they behave. They ought to learn from them that their make, maker is far more powerful. When we realize how vast and beautiful the creation is, we are learning about the creator at the same time. But maybe we are too harsh with these people. After all, that they, they may have really wanted to fight and get most high, but couldn't. Surrounded by the most highest works, they kept on looking at them until they are finally con convinced that because the things they see are so beautiful, they must be gods. But still, these things really have no excuse. If they had enough intelligence to speculate about natures of the universe, why did they never find the Lord of all things? But the most miserable people of all are those who are who are those who rest their hopeless hopes of lifeless things who worship things that have been made by human hands. Images of animals artistically made from gold and silver or some useless stone carved by someone years ago. <coughs> A skilled uh, woodworker may saw down some suitable tree, carefully stripped off bark, and then with skillful craftsmen make from it an object that will serve some useful people. All right, so look, man, why are y'all worshiping all these other gods, man, instead of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha? Yahweh Bashim Yahusha created the the earth. He created the he created the uh, yep the heavens, the earth, you know, all the galaxies and the you know the the trees and stuff, man. But y'all rather go and worship and serve other gods, man, and and um and be like that that dumb nigga that that say, oh, I left being a Hebrew Israelite. It was just it was just too hard. Well, go ahead and join the fucking, be a, be a Buddhist, man. Man, you soft, man. And the Heavenly Father going to destroy you, man, for, for joining all these other satanic religions just because of how you feel. The Lord don't give a damn about how you feel, man. We, we only care about what the scriptures say, man. But see, it's like, here it is, man. The, the Most High created all this stuff, but here it is. Y'all rather go worship and some other guys just because of how they feel, because... They, cause, because it's not too harsh. Because y'all think it, 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 it's, it's, it's so too, you think being a Hebrew Israelite is so harsh, now you want to go try something new. And, and, and now it's, it's, ooh, this stuff is cool. Like when they see that Buddha statue, they think that's cool. They think being a Buddha, tapping into yoga and uh, Hindu and all these satanic, um, they think it's a calm, collective religion. But they don't, y'all don't even realize y'all tapping into the left hand side, man. Of, of, of Satanism, man. And then you got all these dumbass, uh, these dumbass spiritual chicks, man. Listen, man, you brothers, stay away from them spiritual ease, man. I don't give a damn how bad she is, man. If she don't believe in the Bible, man, if she, you ask her, do you believe in the Bible? She says, no, leave her ass. I don't give a damn how much she knows about the, uh, knows about Hollywood and, and what's going on as far as masonry and all that is concerned, man. If she ain't believing in these scriptures, man, She's a witch, man, all right? And you should leave her, period, point blank, man. If she's wearing stuff like the evil eye, the ankh, and and, 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 and and truth be told, ain't nothing wrong with brothers wearing, you know, uh, you know, like, you know, like stones. stones. But you gotta understand, there's women that also wear stones, man, but they're doing it for their witchcraft. That's what you gotta understand. And there's nothing wrong with taking, you know, herbs, and stuff like that, but you got because I've been peeping game. Ain't nothing wrong with herbs or putting like, you know, your uh, your candles and, and you know, just like a regular out of the dollar tree. Yeah, exactly. Ain't nothing wrong. Yeah, with you that. just gotta understand. But so you gotta it's understand. It's the left hand side and the right hand side. It's the left hand side, side and it's right hand side. But there's these women that are actually they're they're doing this. Like there's women who's wearing these stones and worshiping them. They're do they got all these uh, these sages and they got like this. This thing and they're practicing all these satanic, um, like like yoga, man. Because yoga is satanic, man. Crowley has the eight lectures on yoga, man. All right, it's undeniable proof, man. But see, they want to serve and worship these other gods, man, because of how cool it was, man. And they wanted to leave the god of the Bible for these other gods, man. That's why the Most High has. That's why the Most High said he's going to put an end to all of it, man. Because y'all don't want to turn back to your power, man. Y'all want to go worship and serve Baal, man, instead of the Most High, man. And that's why the Most High is going to allow these Satanists to kill you, man. Because you worship and serve those gods, man, instead of the Most High, man. Right. 
Okay. Yeah. <coughs> this is uh, everybody might close out. Yes, go ahead and close. And I'll just read the other scriptures next time. Yeah, God. So this is uh, 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 3. Uh -huh. And it says, For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they keep themselves teachers having itching ears. And that's what you see going on right now, man. Oh, it's like, yeah. Oh, you know that's J2. You just can't J2. Tell me, J2. Yeah, you know, they two thirds. Two -thirds. Like, they really tempted the Lord. They out there, uh, burning on the back end. On the, uh, like, that could be a horrible death right there. Okay. Like, just imagine you, uh, you know, you riding on the back wheel. Yep. Your motorcycle yeah. flips. Yeah. And then you get hit by a car, bro. Like, So this is 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 3, it says, For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. Yep, and see that? That's what's going to happen, man. They don't want to see in the last days, man. They're not going to want to listen according to the doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. But they're going to have itching ears like that Jake, man. Because it's a lot of people, man, that are leaving being an Israelite for other New Age religions. That's why we go into these New Age religions so you can stay away from them. Because huh. it's all de de dealing with the left-hand side. It ain't got nothing to do with the Most High. Okay. Doing yoga, that has nothing to do with the Most High, all right? De you know, doing all this, you know, martial arts and that, it has nothing to do with the Most High, man, all right? Huh. All that is spiritual powers on the left-hand side, man. And people in the last days, it's gonna be a lot, like that Jake, for example. They're going to leave the Bible for satan, other satanic religions, man. And they're not going to want to hear the fact that they're Israelites. Oh, that's why Jake said, well, in my heart, and they're going to want to hear after their own, after the teaching, having itchy ears, uh, a salaki. Okay. But, but they're going to want, want to want to hear after their own lust, man. After what they feel, man. Not what Yahweh Shai feels. That's why he said, well, I just feel in my spirit that being an Israelite, it, 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 it's just too, it's weird. It, it's just too, 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 you know, I had that hatred in my heart. I had to get, I had to get, get rid of that. And, and I tapped into, you know, another, a new age spirituality. Because it, it was, Jake was going off of how he felt, man, instead of how the Heavenly Father. But a lot of people are going to leave, they're going to leave the Bible to become witches. You know, and that's why. And that's what. And that's why you see. And why that's you think? Like, you know, just add on what you said. That's why the scriptures say, "Lean not unto your own understanding," and that the heart is deceitful. A lot of people leave, you know, uh, this truth because you know of their own understanding. You know, they think it's harsh, man. Yeah, and they 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 leave the truth because of what their heart was telling them. Or the how they feel. Yeah, the scriptures say the heart is deceitful in all things. Exactly. Who can know it? So, you know, hey. You know, stay firm in this truth, man. Cause God, like, it's from, it's from, from this truth to what? Kind of from this truth to what? What else is, is there? You know, cause Buddha, Buddhism, Buddhism ain't gonna, gonna, gonna save you. Ain't gonna save you. The conscious community of them Egypt, Talib, Pataan, they ain't gonna save you. Uh, Hinduism ain't gonna save you. Islam ain't gonna save you. Christianity and Judaism ain't gonna save you, man. Uh, uh, serving the damn show, serving the Baphomet and being a Freemason, that ain't gonna save you, man. <laughs> Being a Rosicrucian, that a damn show ain't gonna save you, man. So you better stay in this truth, man, while you can, because a lot of these women are, and it's crazy, y'all, because it's a, lot, it's it's a, um, when you look it up, it says a lot of black women are leaving this truth and becoming witches, and a lot of these jakes are leaving the truth to become warlocks now, or right? this new way spirituality, man. So hey, man, it's a different world, man. Witches are everywhere, man. All right, these it ain't just here. These witches are everywhere, man. Huh. So that's why your brother's got to be careful, man. Uh, listen, man, it don't matter how bad she is, man. She could, uh, she she might be bad and so-called spiritual, 
but the next day she could pro she she'll try and draw a pentagram under your bed with your name on it, man. And you'll be like, "What the hell is this?" Putting stuff in putting, your food. Uh, putting stuff in your food. You know, yeah, that's what, what they do. Period blood. They do that literally. Y'all think it's just a game, but it's but, a, no, it's serious. It's, well, why do you think uh, Kevin Gates got a song? You know, I forget what the name of it is. Uh, dang, but in the song, he's pretty much saying she was trying to put it in his food, trying to trap him. All right. Yep. That's what they do. They try to put stuff in your food to try to trap you, so you be head over heels for them. You know, you just be stroked so sprung, and you just can't let yep. them go. That's what these women do. They yep. put their period blood in your food, and they be in the blue area, and you know, Santeria and all that. And you know, it's crazy. I, you know, um, Shara Seven. Yeah. Shara Seven is a witch. She oh, got man. a uh, she got a channel called uh, Shara uh, Goddess. And she mm -hmm. and, and all the Eves, it's a lot of she has a lot of Eve followers. And majority of her Eve followers, young too, are witches. You know, on there. Oh yeah, I can I can prove that to you too. I just found the song that I was thinking of. It's called Fatal Attraction by Kevin Gates. That's that's what these women be doing. They be trying to put especially like some type of red food like spaghetti. That's why a lot of people say you should never eat spaghetti coming from a woman. Yep. You know, because they'll try to put their blood in it. And like the song says, Kevin Gates, he knows this. This is a known thing. You know, she, he said she was trying to put it in his food, trying to trap him, all right? So that's why you brothers gotta be worried about these different women. Y'all yep. know what these women be on. On me, and it, especially them women be doing yoga and all that. And hey, man, stay away from them, man. Right. If they weren't in the evil eye, the uh, Ankh, the eye of horse, any of that tatted on them, stay away from them. They're so-called spiritual, stay away from them, man. All right, period, point blank, man, because they're witches, man. Yeah, so we probably want to close out. All right, come. All right, so with that, no, we, oh, you, I'm saying like after you show what you gonna show. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, I was gonna show that she she was yeah, a, yeah. she was a witch. So if y'all don't believe me, Shara Seven is a witch. Here it is. This is her channel, and and and, and she promotes witchcraft to you. Uh, ease out. Oh, that's that. Uh, yeah, one, that yep. one female that's on Instagram. Yep, she be telling the hate black men and. Uh, and, uh, all that. Go, go back to her Instagram. I'm trying to think, see if that's the same person. Yep, that's her. Oh, I thought you were talking about somebody else on Instagram. I thought you. Oh yeah, oh yeah, she be on Instagram too. Yeah, I was thinking about two different people. But yeah, I know who you're talking about though. Right. And see, a lot of E's follow her, man. Yep. But they don't even know she practices witchcraft, man. Right. <laughs> but as y'all can see, man, you know, going on down the line, man. See you, but y'all, but you E's, y'all don't even know she practices this stuff, man. <laughs> See the, the that truth is being brought out, man. Huh. So at the end of the day, man, you better be careful, man. You better be mindful of who you're dealing with, man. Got to. Huh. So that's pretty much uh, right there on that. Yep. Kind. So much. yeah. So pretty much, you know, that's that on that. You know, uh, we're gonna end up closing out because my phone about to die. I don't want the phone to die, and then the whole video don't keep. So you know, with that, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to you, brothers and your sisters out there scattered to the four corners of the earth. And as always, want to give all praises, honor, and infinite glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakah, for giving us the spirit to do this lesson. Shalom to you, brothers. It's out there pushing this truth and sincerity. Shalom. I'm Yashar Allah, by the ball.